so mad. She's like pouting in the corner, but let's see if Murph is going to be looking to hold that defense or just holding down their space against Dadpool in this first stream match. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much to Jahibi for that $10 contribution into the match. Arena. Of course, that goal is always to clear out the, uh, the codes for free and then the $300 tier for that top four payout. And we will get further along in the tiers as we keep donating to that match. Arena. I heard y'all cleared it out in 30 minutes last week. A little bit less than that. Let's see if we can uh, beat the time that it took to clear out all the hotel rooms of Combo Breaker. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Topical. Okay, yeah, we got some speed runs this week. We'll see if we can speed run those codes as we let the intros rock for this first match. Damn. All right, I see you guys claiming those codes over there. Thank you, thank you. Proxy in the chat. Nah, defense is overrated. I'm trying to change more to be inspired by MFCR. I don't know. Let's see. Merp immediately swinging with the TP in the close L. Oh, what a challenge here for that 2L. Already got that space with the 5H from Bielsa Bubbins. Nice, easy side swap 2L. And that's so scary when Bielsa Bubbins starts floating over you like that. You're expecting yep. a press because, you know, jump medium's a great button. But to go low? All right. Nice spot dodge from Happy Well. Okay, just walking up on the seals, trying to make sure that Dadpool doesn't feel great about using Unisonic. But anyway, they just hit it high enough that they're going right on over it. So if that was blocked, you know, obviously not going to be super plus. But I like the idea there. Damn, and I like the $100 donation from KRC. Let's go. Third of the way there for that top four payout already. Ooh. Yeah, this should kill here to spend the Raging Strike to finish. Burp turning it around in the blink of an eye, and that is the tail of the game when it comes down to uh, Grand Blue Rising, especially when following up your combos with these Raging Strikes. It's going to be so important. Yeah, exactly. You got a brand new resource to get all the damage out in the world. Spot dodge on the spear. Keeps you alive for just one sec. Nice little tap with the 6 6 M. All right, got the teleport pick up. Beautiful stuff. The hula hoop to close the gap, and I love the hex. Going down on the ground to get the further combo extension. Caught Dadpool trying to jump out. And a teleport very sneaky and has the guard cancel on deck. Oh my god. No. I wonder if that was supposed to be a uh, guard cancel, but it was just a raging strike that came out because Dadpool did not pressure here. Right, yeah, looking for that micro delay to bait out the Brave Counter. There we go. And stuck in the unblockable. Yeah, if you block the charged arrows, unfortunately. Gonna be stuck there for quite a little bit, just putting it out here as Dadpool is in chip Whoa! damage range, does oh! not fall for the Golden Throne. Yeah, that was a beautiful 2H, got that big counter hit off the wall with a couple ultimate skills, but hit that combo limit. One touch on either side, it's certainly chip range for Dadpool. You can't allow Merp to have a turn here. Oh, the spear. Yeah, you're gonna get counter zone for sure because that spear just appears right beneath your feet as compared to the traditional nail from Beelzebub. Yeah, and I like that reaction in the clutch there towards the end as Dadpool was trying to mount that comeback, just looking for the opportunity when they get a little bit too comfy to throw out that bow. So the spear seals out game number one. Murph off to a great start. And number two here baiting out the DP. Nice pick up. Traps below. More stagger pressure too. Dadpool and looking to be in a bad way right now. Nice late tech. Right there. And Ooh. once again, dodging the ultimate skill, gravity well. Murp has tons of resources in terms of health. Yeah, a jab into Raging Strike will wrap this up. Just keep it simple. Exactly, just looking for that confirm. I like the awareness from Murp now, not trying to block the EX charge projectile because they know he got them caught with the unblockable before, but you get caught with this anti-air 2H, a huge counter hit for Dadpool to take this space, but no, still lands in the seals. There we go, ball flat. Nice 2H extension here to get the rock set up after it. Yeah, we got the rainbow rock too, auto combo, but that will just opting to end the turn, wait out the spacing, and go into Beyblade. I'm almost confident that's a level 500 weapon. Yeah, right? <laughs> I haven't looked at her weapon list yet, but I'm pretty yep. sure that's what it is. The prismatic right. rainbow rock. Ooh! That was a good spot dodge there. Unfortunately, landing on top of a hex. Great defense from Merp to you know, let the mistake happen for them so they get the pickup. Yeah, it's hot to time, especially a delay EX nail. Yo, but the 2H still able to get the anti air off the down B from Cagliostro. One touch on either side, a significant combo here for uh, Merp required. Yeah, you landed the 2H, but it wasn't an airborne hit. Not quite ready to confirm there. So Merp at chip damage territory gets caught up on the gravity well. Wow, Battle three. 
Alrighty, tied up on the rounds here. Dadpool trying to tie up the set, but Murph still staying strong, just setting out the seals from all the way full screen. Yeah, wants to deter that teleport opportunity from Beelzebub, which is interesting because Dadpool doesn't... Honestly, no Beelzebub in this iteration I've really seen utilize a whole lot of the Beelzebub teleport. That was a big yep. change in Ry or not Rising, but the previous version. There it is right there and immediately getting Ooh. shut down. Yep, spot dodge right on through the charge projectile. It's not finding its mark. Dadpool loses a lot of tempo off of that. Both of these players about to be at the 100 meter. We're about to see a lot of old skills just flying across the screen. That's unbelievable that you guys actually claimed all the codes before all the combo breaker rooms got closed out. So thank you so very much. Greatly appreciate it. We're clearing records here and showing exactly why Grand Blue is one of the best at supporting its own community. Ooh. Cleared the codes, Burp clears the HP, and Sivai with a clear raid of 119. Thank you very much for the support. So, yeah, again, first to two, so Murp is going to be moving on to the next round. Feels about boss to feel comfortable in, but our next one is going to be Uber Cheesecake, the patented uh, <laughs> Ladiva. I'm just laughing yep. at the name bug right there. Versus Kyokure Set with Belial. Yeah, let's see it, let's see it. Uber Cheesecake, like you said, has been representing the Ladiva across every online tourney possible. It's hard not to see Uber Cheesecake tearing it up on the streets, but like you were mentioning earlier, right, Belial, one of these characters that, yeah, they got cool new options with the uh, addition of ultimate skills in Rising, but their, their core game plan from the original version of the game is still so strong. Absolutely. Oh, nice block here on the DP. Uber with an exceptional punish. Dude, the triple chop into ultimate pile driver just looks so oh. sick every time. I never get tired of it, but Kyoku is tired of being stuck in this corner. Yeah, you just cannot be trying to jump out of this corner right now, especially with Ladiva that close. Wanted a guard cancel, but look, the shimmy still is as effective on these raging strikes. Right, one to Uber, but no roll is going to get caught out immediately by the EX Guisha, but no confirm from Kyoku means they lose their turn once again. He's got the space. There's a beautiful 5H. Resets the pinwheel for a throw. Not too far. Needs one more step to get that grab. And that's a brave spot to be in, especially against Ladiva. She does have 100% meter here. That's going to be something to keep your eye on, especially in these reversal situations that will come up inevitably. Oh, stop Damn. it! Wait a minute! <laughs> Show Not some love. Kill. Let the super rock. Yeah, not gonna kill, but that was a beautiful route for Uda Cheesecake. This is opportunity for Kyoku, right? Because now you don't have to worry about reversal grab. You can constantly pressure with 6XL if you want to. We're going for the close cell, though. Tried to swing the button, but got swung on with the Lariat. Game one over to Uber Cheesecake. Yeah, on paper, this is not an easy matchup for Ladiva, right? Because mm -hmm. she has to navigate a lot of that zoning space that Belial can kind of put out there with the pinwheel. But once you close this gap, it's, oh my god, beautiful 2H. It's kind of tough, right? Because you're playing that rock, paper, scissors game upon every wake up, and Ladiva is just such a threat in your face. Oh, wow, got that big hug, right? Oh, nice. All right, reacting to the ultimate skill. Just looking for the throw to get you right out of that super armor. And gradually, we're trying to fight for that screen space we lost so long ago. Kyoku tying up the health lead. There's that other throw as well. Oh, nice. That's, you know, that's so important. Being able to react to the sound of the EX command Ooh. grab. To you, you thought. That's definitely going to kill. Nah, bro. That's the sound of the SSBA. The reversal coming out from Uber Cheesecake. Not afraid to let it rock. And now we're on set point. Will be able to get that punish on the far H from Kyoku, uh, Kyoku excuse me. Jumped a little uh, a little late there, but 5H, right? Committing to that second hit, you are in a lot of whiff recovery, so you've lost all the space on the screen for it. One SPD isn't going to be enough to go through the health bar, but two is getting closer. Uber, do we go for Whoa. three? We tried it. We tried it. Absolutely. 6XL, mess around and find out for 2M. There we go. Full follow up, EX Lariat. Just enough to get the Raging Strike pick up into Skybound for the W. Uber Cheesecake will take it 2-0 over Kyoku. Absolutely ran it down. And I feel like Ladiva 
is a character that you really have to practice your responses to a lot. Right. Of, yeah, yeah lot two uh, very well talked about characters in the new version yeah. of the game, right? Six is not a newcomer to the series by any means. Siegfried, one of the new characters in Rising, but right. I think similarly, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, these are pretty Powers straightforward indeed. characters to pilot that give you a lot of access to, you know, pretty good damage. I think the big thing for Six in particular is you have a lot of ways to, you know, mix up your mobility and also try yeah. and bait out some throw options from your opponent. But no, Ronnie Chu just running right on in. Yeah, it's going to be very important to establish this ground game immediately. Nice reversal DP, just keep the easy input going. And it's that medium range, uh, that mid screen range that Siegfried is going to see a lot of success in, especially against Six. The one thing you kind of want to watch out for is going to be parry when Imbo gets that opportunity because you yep. think you're at a safe range for, say, like a crowd gem uh, or even just for the far heavy. Like, those are some great up. Oh my god, Roddy too. Damn, that was a, uh, that's a strong Oki option, I think, right? Because you go over the parry and you have enough time to punish with a jump in and you also go over the reversal, uh, you know, EX projectile. So, yeah. smart way to close out round number one. 6-6-L comes through, keeps the pressure, but not able to get a confirm. So we get down here. Oh no, from downtown, caught the Raging Strike and puts Himbo down by a couple bravery points. Goes for ultimate skill barrage. We'll get that extension in the corner. Reset yeah, him we'll have here. Yup, mm -hmm. going to the save jump, but no, instead, not empty low, not the high save jump, just with the throw in front of each other. Said, wow. All right, let's return to neutral real quick. Yeah, Damn. really pulled out the back dash from the Rekka series here with that 6-6-L. Ronnie Chu able to get out of the corner. Great awareness. No 2-H this time, but a 5-H will hit. Nice parry. Yeah, Rekka series just goes for the parry. Yup, cover all the follow-ups. Oh, no. What a great button here. Beautiful spot dodge on the ultimate skill. Riot stamp, as you like to call it. Oh my god. Like that is the cave here for Roddy Chu. Believe in victory. Man, the empty hand. It's a great combo starter, safe on block as well. So it's a really good move to throw it in those scramble situations, but it seems like Ronnie not scrambling, right? Even though they were tied up at the one HP, they're just yeah. ready for all of the answers against six. So they've definitely put in some lab time. Opening gambit here for Ronnie was to walk. Just yep. walk forward, and Himbo got caught doing their usual game plan. Because a lot of cases, that's a fine game plan to have. Go for the air fireball. For Ronnie Chu, that is not the case. This individual is just built different. You see, the mask is full protection. They understand how to take over this match. Battle two. Damn, a quick, quick another round here in game number two. Ronnie Chu on set point tries to go for the anti air, assuming that Himbo is going to follow behind the projectile, but no, just swings right into the projectile claws. Tech goes in for another throw. Goes yep. to the seat this time, does Himbo. Oh no, that hesitation will catch you. Oh, that it's so tough to jump over that fireball. Like you tried to adjust your hurt box, that jump medium there from uh, six, but it still caught the feet. Flash on through with the super, down to 50%. Do we bait out another parry? No, we gotta put Meaty on the brain. Yeah, try to tech the throw there and of course as we all know teching throws in grand blue is a death sentence and it certainly was one here for himbo neutral a 2-0 victory for ronnie chu in a very quick fashion there and honestly like if you look at the battle point spent between these two it was heavily in the favor of uh, himbo neutral i don't right? know what to do but all good you still got the losers run and we still have our next match mad best killer mbk versus hubert yeah, it's to see MBK coming back, of course. You know, veteran player of Grand Blue versus and Hubert. You know, I caught Hubert throughout the DNF dual era, so to see Hubert continuing yeah. their reign in Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising is a spectacular sight to see. But uh, yeah, Hubert on six, MBK with Siegfried, which is very interesting. MBK used to play uh, a little bit of Belial there, kind of fluttered around the cast a bit too, but to see Siegfried, I think that's a very solid pick there. Yeah, maybe they saw the last stream match. They were like, all right, let me show you how it's done. Run up behind the projectile, but Whoa! no. Let's go for the parry stance. It's caught in the recovery for the uh, U+. Plus. Right, nice interrupt. The dash M. Oh, my goodness. Big counter hit damage. If we spend Raging Strike, there we go. Finish. Yeah, that's a great into the super. Battle 2. Engage. 
Next round here, 6-6-L six, six, does not work out for Huber, and it works out for Matt Best Killer. That is tragic. Another fireball set up there. Kind of at the slower startup on that one, trying to catch the jump in from Huber. Yeah, DP on minus frames. They block the low after the triple attack. So you said, well, let me try and take my turn back here. Stalk in the mid screen and gets caught up by the frame trap. That EX Rekka overhead. Ooh, interesting. Just kind of bails out for a second there. Delay yeah. buttons. Nice. Air fireball. Did it at the DP. Just goes for the Raging Strike instead of confirming for the, you know, guaranteed damage. I wonder if that was worth, but now MBK, zero BP to their name. They're going to be taking a lot of damage if Hubert can find a way to fight back out. If we go for Super Skybound Art, we do have that rebuild of Battle Points. I think Ooh. that... Oh, my God! You're done! <laughs> no! Oh. No, that is a heartbreaker. Hubert baited out the DP. I wonder if they were just a little too early on their 5H. The input got eaten because, you know, they were just waiting for that DP to come back out. And then the Raging Strike was the first move that came out instead. But still, MBK going to close out game one. Yeah, I mean, uh, such a bummer to throw out Perry there and just receive no benefit for it. Like, you, you yeah. had the right call, and it was just maybe a frame or two late, and that's the only reason why you were wrong there. That's... That's probably the only takeaway you get from there, other than, hey, I gotta be more patient. Nice far H, though. Follow up with that Raging Strike. Yeah, the refresh on the EX Projectile, too. Cash out on all the damage. Hubert has the optimals ready. Says, no, 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 I'm not dropping a kill again. Yeah, Jesus, look at that damage. Beautiful routing there from Hubert. Oh, over through delay with the H follow up. Oh. It's gonna do... No. Okay. You gotta watch out for that recovery too. It, it's longer than you would expect a throw to work on your opponent's wake up. Ooh. Nice. Ops for the teleport on the unique action there from six. Nice. I like the weights after the 6 6 L. MBK has been representing the DP to try and take their turn back, so you were just putting it on the brain. Okay, I'm not gonna just mindlessly press, but no, an attempt on the anti air gets caught out by the down B. Bit of a shimmy. Pulls a bravery point out. Does get a throw, MBK. That's a fireball setup. And look at how careful Hubert's being right now. Oh, Ooh. no, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Tried to be careful, but the urge to press the special button indeed came to fruition, and MBK was ready with the reaction SBA. That is so fun. I was... Jump in, does get punched with that 2H counter hit. Big damage from MBK. The yeah, projectile, all the plus ones in the world to pull up behind it, but Hubert trying to play more patient, I say, as they try to match their way out of the corner and gets caught out once again by MBK. We need to stop saying that Hubert's being very patient. Because That's what I'm saying. Blown up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's playing incredibly aggressively. Okay, see, now it's working. Okay, cool. We, we know what the game plan is here. On the mic, I love the little shimmy into close age. Catch out that throw attempt. All right, so he spent the 25 for the full follow-up here, so we go for a combo reset. Oh, touch, but you were in this situation before. Has to be so careful. There's the reversal, or excuse me, the brave counter. And yes, yes, that skybound art is an anti air. Mm -hmm. Perfect position for Mad Best Killer to throw that out there. A 2 0 victory. And what was a nail biter of a set Grover? between. I didn't know Sesame Street was allowed to play these games. That's what I'm saying. I know Grover, you know, definitely a prominent name in the FGC. Same for SQ as well, who has been sticking with the Zeta. But again, the third Siegfried in a row. But finally going to see a different opponent here in the Zeta. All right. Yeah, Zeta definitely uh, another one of those characters. Um, that was strong before, just not at the top of the conversation for strongness. And yeah. now, most certainly so here in this version of the game. Uh, but also going up against another strong character in Siegfried. Just, again, that consistent damage. We saw the, like, his normals in general are, are definitely just great buttons to contend, especially with a character like Zeta. Yeah, exactly. Zeta, like you're mentioning, I think a character that was kind of flying under the radar towards the early release of the game. I think now we're seeing a lot of tools from Zeta, but, you know, there is an executional barrier to be able right. to, you know, pull those off consistently as well. Beautiful shimmy with the backdash, and SQ pulls up with the punish 6-6-L. Right, there's no 6-6-L. No wall splat thanks to the beam. Let's take to the skies and drops down real quick so we can get the skybound art. Save jump delay on the brave counter. 
BP for BP, trying to fight for this screen space. Just pull up with a throw, which gives you a safe jump as well. Grover so low, not quite in chip damage range, but SQ's trying to get you there. Oh my goodness, the chip damage. If Zeta is so good where his double Zeta, well, let me tell you a secret about double Zeta. It almost destroyed the entire franchise, okay? So relax. <laughs> Exactly. We got Grand Zeta over there in the actual gacha game. You know, if she shows up as a uh, as a DLC down the line, wouldn't be too surprised. But Grover trying to stop Base Zeta in her tracks right now. Nice fade on the parry as well. Ooh, that would have been an interesting interaction. I wonder if that would have yeah. clashed or if the invulnerability was still active up there for Grover. I am curious, yeah. 6L, already got the fireball. The perfect spacing here for Grover. Okay, clean throw tech. Gonna throw out the projectile, but Grover looking for it immediately says, no, 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 you've been a little too comfy throwing out these lasers at the mid-range. Let me pull up. Just because it's a laser beam doesn't mean it's gonna work just like other laser beams that we've seen in previous fighting games, all right? Yep. It's not beam assist. You're the one committing to doing it, right? So if Goku throws out the Kamehameha, you're chilling. You're the point character behind. But Zeta has to commit. But committing to the 6-6-L, you're stuck in the corner once again. Tied up on the round count. Nice back throw. Great positioning here. And fully charged. Gonna hold that plus frames. Yep. Trying to keep you locked down with the projectile. But no, SQ just pulls up right after. 6-6-M. Got the knockdown spot dodge, but too little too late to try to get the punish. Does get opened up by SQ. Okay, DP our way on out of there. Put it on the mental stack. Yep, SQ hasn't baited it in quite some time. And again, the space. It. SQ, she's very leery of doing another beam again. After that jump yep. in from Grover, I don't blame her. She is definitely discouraged from it, right? Because one nine, one jump forward could spell your doom, especially with the full brave points available and 100%. Dude. Ooh! Okay, there we go. That's the punisher looking for after the spot dodge. Finding the timing a little bit better, but catches out the 2H with the ultimate spear. A very great call out there from Grover to block the uh, brave counter. Let's yep. get the raging strike follow up here. Oh, too far away. That brave counter does get wasted. That's two brave counters SQ was not able to get any benefit from. The third one yeah. does find the mark, but you are dead. Oh, no. And the 6-6-L six, six seals out game number one for Grover. I think it's crazy that this man in the full plate armor and the biggest sword I've ever seen is still able to be that flexible. I, I got to give him credit. That's the, that's the thing in uh, Grand Blue. All the armor is just made out of foam. They're all costumes. Oh, you're right. Exactly. They're all chunies at heart here, but all right, SQ trying to tie up the set count. Single pogo. Forward throw, hold this position here. Until he get forward throw right back. <laughs> We're rotating defensive options. You know, the player's getting inspired by each other every single moment, but no, SQ gonna cash out on quite a bit of damage here. I don't think you build 100 for the super just yet, but next touch, scary. It was close. I wonder if we it might not have been worth it, but the raging strike timing might have been able to hit there, so you get to pick up and then go into it. But yeah. damage mitigation would have been a factor there by that point. Mm -hmm. Hold the six six L. These micro delays just looking for any reversal DP. No. Woo! <laughs> There we go. Cash out into the Raging Strike. You might as well just to make sure on the off chance it didn't kill. And now SQ, one round closer to tying it up. Well, nice far L here from SQ. Able to get the thrust challenge there. And the Shimmy Wimmy. You're gonna catch you dying for this one. SQ with the fancy footwork here and the fancy air work as well. Taking to the skies with this spear. Reaction checking you as well with the Raging Strike. Grover down to 1 BP. Up and notice SQ not spending, betting the fact that Grover was going to go for that uh, cancel right after the Raging Strike hit. This should kill and does one all in the set. Mm -hmm. One love. We were so close. We saw 48 uh, meter at the end there from SQ. So we weren't quite able to see the Twitter three ultimate skills in a row combo. But still, with Raging Strike behind you, you had more than enough damage to tie it up. Absolutely. Right, taking a moment before we go right back into it here. Yeah. Give it a sec. Give yourself a little breather. You got 30 seconds in between each of these matches. It doesn't seem like Grover is actually looking for a switch here, but I think just some downtime, especially with an ender right. like that, I agree. 
Yeah, I mean, especially it does seem that SQ had like some solid reads on the situations there. I think the big one was the, uh, um, uh oh. Yeah, we better get in there. Hurry up, Lucas. All good. It looks like the turbo time. So there is a glitch yeah, in the yeah. spectator where sometimes it'll back you back out. So we're going to be watching some Grand Blue Rising Double Dash in just a second here. Let's see it. Yeah, run on through. 6 6 M. We're going to catch up here. But, but yeah, it, it seemed like SQ was definitely getting uh, um, very comfortable in this situation here to understand how Grover is going to play defensively. Nice to really parry out that one, too. Ooh, yeah, Shimmy on the throw as well. Pull up with a 6-6 It's Not a ton of damage, but Grover gradually losing this health here in SSBA kill range. Oh my God. Combo with the Lava. corner looks so funny. <laughs> wow, yeah. So uh, quick round from SQ done. really turning up the tempo. Yeah, nice. This is what turbo looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the Rainbow Edition Grand Blue here. No, just gonna mash on through. 2M into the spear. Look at all the space we've taken off of one light confirm and a block string. Now SQ cashing out into the super. Cancel. Yeah. <laughs> it's still funny to see how no all one the, just the spears should be moving that fast, honestly. Yep. There we go. Caught up to it finally. E. Ooh, dropped out of the Raging Strike right there. That was probably expected to be the EX Beam. We did not get that and still autopiloted to that uh, Raging Strike. So wake yeah. up, Super Sky Mount Art. We'll strip all of the Bravery Points here. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Things must be slowing down here because that was a Hail Mary parry if I ever saw one. And the Hail Mary parry. The, an the prayers go unanswered. Grover just waiting it out. That's a bold. Actually, that's a safe choice, right? You're afraid of the 100 meter available. So you're like, SQ, are you going to panic and try and bring this round back? All right, Grover really trying to steal a turn with that DP. The shimmy here from SQ. She does yep. have the EX fireball set up. Let's take to the skies. Not going to build the meter for the skybound art, but wanted the hard knockdown and missed it. Maybe away from the Oki setup there. Grover able to find the jump on over a little too early on the empty low, but still, SQ brought you to the other coast anyway. That's the rollback connection. All right. Come through. 5M, lose your turn and gets caught up by another 6 6L. That was close M that ended up hitting there instead of committing to a dash button. Jump back. We got the light. Okay. Jesus. Right. All and what was a scramble of uh, first round of that game here? Very quickly slowed down. Game two in game three, right? But yeah. the tempo is going to keep on moving. We got game after game, and we got Junior Jam versus Nord headed up to the stand. Ooh, we're going to be seeing Lowain Narmaya. Okay, two new characters to the stream for today. <laughs> Lowain, I swear to God, Lowain just got so much more powerful in this version of the game. Yep. Narmaya, of course, definitely did, but. Lil Wayne is definitely another uh, return of a Nightmare character beyond just the Mario Party shenanigans. Uh, yep. Just a little more difficult to keep locked down. Yeah, and he is making great use of the new ultimate skills, right? You know, one of them full corner carry, another of them just putting such strong projectiles onto the screen. So once he has 50 meter available, also the true uh, reversal as well. He is scary, but Nora, let's see what you can do. I see that prismatic weapon show that you earned it. So we swipe the cat bot off the screen. Nice, actually, just a regular tech. And we'll still close that gap. No awesome sauce quite yet. Great stand block, too, from Junior Jam. Yep. Yeah, the guard button check on the EX clip. No, but we're just going to go for Setsuna all the way over. Call out the bros, but still stuck in the corner against this bot. Here we go. Nice. Dude, that's far heavy right there. Was able to interrupt the startup of awesome Ooh. sauce. And already going to get this wall pickup. My stance switch to get that full extension too. That's very critical. Ooh, I wonder if we could have spent one more BP to be able to kill, but still great situation for Nort and catches out the attempt at the 6-6M for Junior Jam to escape. I really like the use of the ultimate flip there as well, right? Just you got to be able to threaten that mid range with a 50%. Junior Jam felt so comfortable throwing out the bros, but constantly they're being caught out in the startup. Ooh, Command dash does get interrupted here. Nice little spot dodge. Costs you a little bit of a late tech. Nice anti-air from Junior Jam. Yeah, I like these sweeps. You know, the 5Ms, 2Ms, and the 2Us as well from Nort to try and keep the Catbot off the screen, but swinging straight into the Human Pyramid. What are you going to do? We block? Okay. No spot that represented just yet. Ooh, okay. Makes it out of it with no break points loss as well. Junior Jam down the full 100. Go, nice whiff punish. 
Oh, same side here. Got a back throw. Yep. And El Cessna to the slash forward Whoa. to try and catch the approach afterwards. I like how tricky Nord is being with all these specials, just rotating so seamlessly between the stances. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Ultimate skill already calling out the command dash, but a raging strike does find the mark. And I, again, it's always tricky in those situations because it's likely supposed to be that guard cancel and the yeah. opponent has not pressed anything there at that opportunity. So maybe was mm -hmm. expecting a DP or even a wake up throw opportunity. There's, you know, the rock, paper, scissors is so different on knockdown, especially when the opponent is being so aggressive that you sometimes see yes. these accidental um, raging strikes come out. Exactly, right? You're looking for the DP, like you're saying, waiting for that reversal, and you're like, oh, it's my time to strike. And then you forget that sometimes you're baiting out the guard cancel, which turns into a reaction check against you on your own offense. And it was so heartbreaking towards the end there. They got the U flame wheel, but then just barely the EX awesome sauce didn't reach for the corner, and Nort brought it back. But game number two, Junior Jam, let's see what you can do. Guys, in the chat, it seems like you guys are Junior Jam fans. Is it JR Jam? I feel like I, it's a 50-50, I gotta know. The son of Sage Am, I saw. No. Okay. Majas. Thanks for that S perfect. That's beautiful lore. Mm -hmm. Ooh, slash on through with a far H. I like these confirms from North. Yeah, that was a hard mix right there. The homies came through, blending up the options. You know, this is an interesting color pick because it's very clear which Loane you need to be paying attention to win. Yep. Nice oh, overhead. Man. Does get that confirmed. Does strip the bravery point. Damn, we're seeing a lot of old uh, strikes coming out from North on the defense with the far H trying to get out of the corner with the M dash, but no, Junior Jam just brings it back. Yeah, that was a great spot dodge on the dash through from North. Uh, Junior Jam able to get that 2U finish. Nice. And the dash from downtown all the way in your face with the L slash, but we're just going to grab on through. Mm -hmm. What's supposed to be that parry right there? Mm -hmm. Sometimes a safe bet because the opponent will think right after. You know, the unsafe button is just, it is your turn, as one would yeah. expect, but you're going up a different <laughs> way, so it makes it a little bit different. Missiles actually do get aerial blocked, and Junior Jam was not able to stop in time to get to the unblockable situation. Oh, committed to the heavy. That's unfortunate. That gave Junior Jam the opportunity to get the confirm off the Skybound Dart. Yeah, I wonder if you might have been able to spot dodge there. Oh, no, tried to go for the ultimate dash into the throw. That's the knowledge check, but fortunately, a little bit too far. Junior Jam actually just ran past it. Ooh. All right, there we go. Raging all too <gasps> far to get the finish. We just got yeah. 25 meter two. That mm -hmm. would have been kill had we had that earlier. Yeah, stuck in that 22. That's a heartbreaker for Nor. And now it's scary. Junior Jam has a lot of meter to bring this back. And once they get the 100, that's SSBA. Human pyramid attack. Not opting for Yggdrasil, but the anti-air dashing on in. That's overhead. Not able to get a pickup quite yet. There's the overhead or er, anti-air pickup with the low. Oh, catches out the bros, but doesn't catch out Lewayne. The MDP doesn't quite kill, but they sweep the 2M does from Junior Jam. Well, what compelled you to do that button? <laughs> he felt it in his soul, bro. I feel no, like Lewayne, that... you ask him what he's thinking, the character, and he's like, mm, the bros told me to. It was, it was a vibe thing, you know? It was, it was a vibe thing, huh? I got you. Mm -hmm. I got Jesus Christ. Even Nor is like, dude, why'd you hit that there, man? Yeah, the on. two U of all second. things. You yeah, go right? for two U while I'm standing here in neutral. I'm within mm -hmm. five L range. Are you kidding me? All right. Exactly. No fear. That's the. You know what? I'm glad you brought that up. What's exactly. up with Grand Blue players have no fear? Huh? <laughs> They're bold. They, they got to represent it, right? And I mean, sometimes hitting the the low on your wake up, right, is a good way to catch out that stand walk back shimmy. But especially right. at one HP, that's a scary situation to try and bet it on. But came up huge here to bring you to game number three. But no, North has some lows of his own, starting it out with the 6-6M. Our dash through, opposite side punish. Good stuff. Already had Junior Jam committed. Set up the flaming wheel. I love the use of the ultimate flip to go right over. Oh, and the parry puts you in a precarious position because look at the spot that Amaya's in. Perfect spot for the slash to come out just for the projectile and still get the follow-up after. Pick up off of the H bro call. They always got me. If nobody else does, the ult reversal brings the momentum back as well. Ooh, shut down an ult, a raging strike there. Ooh, nice. Finally getting the ultimate dash into the throw that you were looking for. Just do it one more time. <laughs> All right, and this is what we got to see here at this point. Norton has realized... Oh, no! 
the spot dodge. Plus 15, ready for the reaction check there. Yes. Alrighty, set point for North. That was very important because we set up a block string, a single hit, knew that Junior Jam is fishing for the uh, guard cancels, so spot yep. dodge is a very fair call out because we've seen before, to throw out that raging strike, you still got that spot dodge opportunity. Exactly. Oh, actually caught up by the H rockets. I think Junior Jam wasn't expecting that one to hit. Not sure if he would have been able to pick up anyway off of the jump over, but now you have beautiful oh, screen positioning into the here. HPA. <gasps> of course, through we dodges back to back, spent all the meter just to dodge side to side and still got caught for your trouble. I mean, it was smart stuff, but unfortunately, no escape from Junior Jam and HPA. Yeah, you used a lot of meter to try and avoid and be tricky with it, and I agree it saved you a little bit of health, but off of this next hit, I don't think you're going to be able to kill one BP to your name, 50%. Oh, no, and gradually losing percent on your HP. Laser beam. And you see, too, now that Nort is respecting the wake up to you. And yes. even still at full screen, Junior Jam is to you. -ing. How do you stop this? He's trying to catch the approach, right? Because Nort at the full screen, or even a little bit past mid, has been going for a lot of these dash into single slash to yes. try and catch out the cat bot startup. And it has been working out, so I, I can understand the preemptive to you. But now you are stuck in the corner, and you have to spend 50 to get back out. Full screen situation, dash up, goes for the M. Good patience. That guard cancel shuts down the homies. Even with the far H confirmed. Nice stuff here from Nort. It's over an 83% on meter. HPA, you have to respect it. Are we going to leverage the spot dodge? No, we believe in our blocks. Ah. React to the low, but not quite this time. Gets you a full launch and all the way over to the other side. Junior Jam gets Woo! the heal. The wheel, but look at how much bravery points we spent for this one. You have 50% on your meter, does get yep. ultimate skill. You are one touch away from victory, but so technically is Junior Jam. We play our cards right. Yeah, I like the option to route into the ultimate sets. No, you did not get the link, so you don't have the ultimate, but it's all good. The slashes are all you need. Close it out with a DP for Nort to move on 2-1. Well, I think our players will be very happy. And speaking of players, we got some that you guys are familiar with. Diaphone versus Shuabu. Yeah, very interesting to see uh, Diaphone returning to Zoe, a character that they pioneered in the previous version of the game. Uh, yep. Shuabu, of course, returning to 6. An yes. unfortunate cross under position. Shubu can get 5L for that one. Yeah, let's see. I like the name Buff Zoe over in the top right. Diaphone had the audacity to put her bottom of his tier list, and now he's rocking her in top 48 TNS. And I don't know, getting stuck in the pressure again. Shubu, you have 50 meter for the reversal, but instead opting to use the Brave Counter. All right, there's a parry to hold the corner position. Stagger 6XL goes for the 2H. Oh no, nice follow up here on the Raging Strike. Little cross under, side swap. Good stuff from Diaphone. Yep. All right. Yeah, pretty late back. here. Yeah, actually, Diaphone, if he can get a confirm here, that's going to lead into a death situation on Shubu. So Shubu's trying to fight out the best they can. Nice. A little bit of a jump back to get that ultimate skill fireball, forcing the whiff throw. Two. Mm -hmm. Quick round one there. Pretty back and forth. I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat saying, yeah, Diaphone realized he underrated the character a little bit, but ah. still sticks, right? In the conversation for a very strong one as well, taking so much screen space off of the shadow step, but now a Diaphone fights back. Yeah, you got to think about her normals in general, plus her lightning setup. Mm -hmm. Huge. Wow. Wow. Dude, see, that was six, six right here in Zubu to get through the heavy fireball setup from yep. Diaphone. Perfect parry. Damn. Lots of answers represented to how Diaphone is trying to control this space. Gets the EX Rekka for a little Ooh. bit of space, but yeah, that you empty hand projectile invul to go through the beans, but Diaphone just resorting to the buttons and gets caught out on the frame trap. Dash up throw. Has to be very careful. Yeah, this will punish the ultimate skill fireball. Ooh. Avatar end with a $10 contribution. Was it simply the Skybound art into death that caused the, the donation? Thank you so very much. He was waiting for the SSBA. He was like, <laughs> if Diaphone hits this super, the $10 going in the pot right now. And starting off round number three strong, pushing Shuabu into the corner and catches out the empty hand with a 5H. Nice. All right, 6XL locking down the corner, but still able to get a jump out with the uh, fireball here from Shuabu. Yep, jump on through. No, it doesn't go for the safe jump. Tries to go for the U Lightning, but Shuabu ready to mash. 
down. Harry with the 2L. Got it representing. Go for the U projectile, but it gets caught up with a super. And notice these are not the actual inputs. These are all easy input supers. It's yep. something to keep in, keep in mind, especially, uh, you know, Dipo plays on Eberless, I believe. Definitely not on a pad, but that's still, like, something to be aware of. A simple input button just to be able to reversal, and it yep. will keep Six at bay. There are very small gaps that Six has available, but um, being able to turn it around is good. He's on pad this time around? Okay. Oh, uh, okay, okay. The dual shock five. And yeah, I think it's it's cool that you bring that up. Diaphone himself has said, yeah, you have easy inputs in this game. Like, you might as well use them to be able to react faster. Like, I don't want to have to put the input and then be a little bit slower in these crucial, you know, tiny frame oh, traps totally. where I'm looking for the super or the DP, but looking for a way to get on out of here. And the UDP comes out from Diaphone to bring us back mid-screen. Do it again. Why not? You're getting a little too aggressive for my taste, and I have so much life ahead of me. I may as well spend it. Ready, set, point for Diophone here. Trying to move on in top 48. Take the charge. Try and bait out an option from Shuubu, but instead goes for the whip. Empty hand stuck in the corner off this Rekka. Yeah, that was great. 6 its l into far heavy. Was able to connect and get the follow-up there. And that's actually important to note that 6 doesn't have a traditional 6 l follow-up right into triple attack. You have to go for yep. one of his heavier buttons. The delay far heavy was actually pretty key there. Man, and able to cash out on so much damage. Let's see the full moon super real quick. It's not going to be enough to kill, but Diaphone, not quite in throw range, but it's still so scary. Yo, the quick 2L. All right, all right. Yep. Shubu. Yeah, absolutely no slouch. I know we're rooting for Diaphone on the Zoe content farm, but of course, Shubu, no slouch whatsoever. Just going to spot dodge right through the laser beam. Yeah, historically, I think, uh, you know, these two go neck and neck when it comes to top eights in the previous uh, uh, Grand Blue. I'm pretty yep. certain that Shubu definitely comes out ahead simply because of just entering more frequently. Yep. Um, but yeah, this Shubu last week, honestly, so thanks for tuning in on this one. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, the run under under the fireball. You tried to take the disguise and take that space, but Diaphone just sliding right through. With the little spend on Skybound Art builds up another bravery point for yourself and strips one away from the opponents. You're even, not quite even on health. The lead's still in favor of Shubu right now. Yeah. 2L, I wake up with the Raging Strike confirmed. Strip it all. one more you on you. Kill. Ultimate you skill to kill. Okay. I was going to say, Shubu, if you didn't kill off of that Rekka because you didn't spend the 50 on the ultimate version, that would have been rough, but still able to close it out. He said, nah, I know what I have when I have Well, and that's the problem with uh, with Six anyways, that his ultimate skills, you don't necessarily get a follow-up for them. Like, it's oh, hard knockdowns right. off of every single one, basically. So you had to yeah. spend on something. You're right, you're right. All right, jump on through. JL for the tap on the dome. Diaphone down 2 BP, but Shubu down over 50% of their life. Who tried to, you know, that is unfortunate because generally, you're right. Uh, Diapo would press right after the uh, lightning call because that is your turn. But Diapo, big patience here, played the gambling game and it paid off. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta represent some gaps in your own pressure, see if they're gonna react, see if they're gonna go for something crazy. And again, we're on set point for Diapo. 6L, got the far M. There we go. 2H, counter hit. Oh, no! Damn, that was a strong challenge from Diaphone, right? He took six to yeah. Matsu as well, so he's familiar with that safe jump setup, but says, nah, 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 Shubu, I know you're trying to be a little crazy with it. Let me match my 5L on out of here. Run through. Raging Strike should be able to kill with 100, just link into the super. There we go. And we don't need to see that full moon. You guys know what that cinematic looks like already. And now, <laughs> last round, game number three. Let's see who keeps their run in the winner's side. Already got that corner with the Rekka 2L for the reset. Yep, trying to stick out the little leggy, but no, gets brave countered anyway. Diaphone looking worse for wear on the HP. All right, goes through low triple attack. Nice, got our brave counter. That is crashing. Got opened up there. Oh no, and off of the Rekka. You know, you get the hard knockdown, or the knockdown anyway, but 
you know, might have been able to get just a little bit more damage there. Diaphone, no BP in the tank, and now you're taking 150% extra damage. This is so scary if Shubu gets the 2M, should be able to close out with a raging strike. Staying in the winner's side. Huge. Absolutely huge. You know what? This is one set you'll definitely want to check back on, too. Um, yeah. One, Diaphone really quickly embracing a lot of the new mechanics and features of the game, especially when it came yeah, down still to... still eventually life. able to level up to the next layer, keep Diaphone on his toes and fight his way back out, and the damage he got when he was right, so big. But we're heading on to our next match. Here we're going to be seeing Have a Nice Day versus Riazzo. So, Riazzo of Ride the Railfire Legion has been repping the Anila bracket after bracket. He is an absolute believer in the funny sheep girl and have a nice day we brought up earlier right on the beelzebub but also has a lot of other characters in the pocket yeah have a nice day definitely one of those players that has been able to play the field uh, we have a handful of those in the uh, community so yeah what's neocars showing up huh someone called neocars <laughs> waiting in the wings waiting in the shadows for their time to strike at the offline but heading into game number one here i see your reals on the english dub too shout out the anila english voice actor Tearing it up on Twitter, but now 6-6-L just trying to keep you at bay here with a hop. And the stagger push away on top of it with the EX dive. That's about as much as we're going to get. Called out the spot dodge with the fully held heavy nail. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> that was great, yeah. actually. The very tip of the toe to get the follow-up. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to nail that one. We certainly do. Have a nice day in complete control. Yeah, I thought that super was going to whiff, to be honest with you. The tipper spacing, perfect from Have a Nice Day. Alrighty, quick first round. Damn, we're just going to jump on over the sheep call with Unisonic. I see you. Call that out immediately. Oh, Gravity Well does get the confirm for the corner. I'll pick up. Nice little delay to make sure we get the full combo in the corner there with that damage on the bubble. Alright, just keeping you spaced out. Maybe looking for a whiff punish, but you're still minus there. I don't think you can really get an answer. Ooh. That was a deep, unique action. So. Yeah, right? Right, you sheep call again, but it doesn't matter if it's the ultimate version. The 50 meter goes to waste as have a nice day, takes to the skies, and takes game one with the Unisonic. Believe in victory. Wow, we. Alright, we do walk up on it. Nice anti air on the Unisonic, finally catching out the dive kick. No 6-6-L, too far for a confirm there. Another low. And then already pushing back to the west side of the screen once again. Have a nice day. Ooh! <laughs> I dare you to make a dash. I can't believe it. Every single time this ultimate skill has been finding the mark, especially after nail. Oh my god, another dive kick. Have a nice day is undeterred, right? We saw the single anti-air from Rialzo with the MDP, but have a nice day is like, mm, you're going to have to do that two or three more times before you stop me from taking to the skies. Oh, goes for reset instead of damage under. All right. Yeah. I not go for space. Feeling pretty comfortable Yo. here. Tries to go for the fluff it. We ball and goes right on over the super. Have a nice day. We're actually getting fluff pushed it, back we here. Ball. I'm loving it. The classic. Okay, normal. Double unisonic. All right, Riazzo. You know what you got to do. Oh, no. Roll. Okay. Spot dodge. Sheep's on deck with the ultimate skill after. All right, all right. You had all the meter in the bank with that refund as well. So, yeah, so able to put around on the board here. No, but the spin's going to put you towards the corner. Yeah, bubble. Get away from me. Social distancing is, you know, Ooh. not out of session here for Beelzebub. <laughs> He does not respect it, bro. He is getting all up in your face, stuck in the corner. Riazzo down to 50% HP, a little over 50 on the meter, but what are you going to do with it when you whip the anti here? Just a little too early. Dive, have a nice day with tons of resources available. Riazzo taking a couple steps forward just to get that 100%. Go. Scary, nice. Another bluff it. No, just going to go right under with a crossover. Have a blocked it anyway, but said, I am not trying to hold this pressure right now. Back to the mid range, back to the air as we go. All right, already jumping here, so not going to be necessarily impacted by the slowdown of the ultimate skill. Great DP, but the ultimate skill one is not going to get DP'd by Riazzo. Ooh. The full wall pickup, we charge it. What a threat. Because there's nothing yep. you can do. If you jump and try to block, that's fine, but you put yourself in a blockable situation. So you have to hold that corner. 
you have to hold this set point as well. Have a nice day. Trying to close it out, but nice use of the MDP. We've only been seeing that for the anti airs, but representing it in the block strings as well. Run up with a 6-6-L. Shut down after that to you from Riazzo to set up the, the sheep once again. Oh, and she gets caught out of the jump too. <laughs> yeah, that is tragic. Big anti-air with that 2H. Bring it down from the heavens above with the corner carry with another sheet for you. Yeah, that's unfortunate that the 6-6-H whip there maybe needed to dash forward just a little bit more to get the wall bounce, but still, have a nice day looking rough on the HP. Ooh. Run under the Unisonic. Be careful, have a nice day has another one. Better guard cancel. Yep. One bravely point for Riazzo there. Nice spot dodge. We've been seeing a lot of that from Riazzo again. Yeah, a little bit less frisky oh than trying no! to go for the anti-air. Gets caught out with the gravity well. Going to the super. Have a nice day. Should be able to close it out here after the cinematic. Send the beam down. You're gentlemen. You're dead. <laughs> That's it. No diamonds in the bank. Riazzo gets sent down to the loser's side. But still, what a good fight. I feel like the set score does not tell the story, right? So, uh, we were seeing he doesn't. That's a real shame. You know, this character really needs to be in the game. I know we got two more characters. You already got everyone mm -hmm. else, but you're missing a giant robot character. And it actually, uh, you know, kind of kind of important you have this character part of your lore. Exactly. Cool DLCs. We got 2B, but the next stream match to be on the screen is Zippy versus Uber Cheesecake. We saw the Ladiva earlier, but I think this is actually the first near that we're seeing on stream. And Zippy, we've been seeing a lot of him in these past online tournaments, right? Absolutely tearing it up. One, uh... A um, tournament recently, I want to say it was WASD or Paragon Online. One of the two, but still oh, yeah, 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 yeah. wrong here. Of course. I can't forget Zippy's fish hat. Oh, yeah. Zippy parentheses eel hat, the classic. I feel like he's the, he's the only near I see rocking it, so it really yeah. sets him apart. Uber Cheesecake Whoa. tries to go for the headbutt, but Zippy ready for the spot dodge. That's a perfect. Okay. Uh, our bad. We didn't realize you were ready to pull the trigger. I wasn't, I wasn't familiar with your defensive game like that. My fault, Zippy. Okay, okay. Larry to bring you over to the corner. Uber Cheesecake said, nah, nah, nah. One round, not enough to keep me down. Yep. Carry here. Yep. Set up. Horizontal Slash does get shut down here from Uber. Body Splash finds the mark. That was the cleanest jump in. And I wonder if we try to call death. And she was not recovered quite yet for that one. Go show some love with a drop kick. Oh, yeah. Ultimate skill. Get away from me. Yeah. It's one of those I, I like the spend of the 50. Yeah. It's one of those situations where it probably would have been a safe bet from Ladiva to go in for just a raw command grab, but the timing again. You get the nine frames of, uh, you know, throw and vulnerability upon yep. us, your opponent's wake up, so it's kind of tough to time that out. Nice jab to interrupt death. Ooh, walk up slowly. No, no down smash. Oh, no, but we do see the ultimate Lariat just right on through death. Caught up on the follow-up. No slashes to keep Uber at bay there. It's You can't stop it. You see a Lodiva on the screen? Throw throw a caution in the wind. You're not stopping that Lodiva player. Exactly. All right, jump on through with the cross-up. Brave counter. Ooh, that's a whiff on the swing. That down for a little bit. You're still healthy on the stocks, though. Cool. So stocks, a little bit more damage from death. Try it, just the threat. You see the two L try to come up to interrupt, and the two. What stops two U K two? Nothing. That's one. Exactly. I'll answer it for you. Rhetorical. I mean, we we have down back, but who's really trying to down back? You spent zero three ninety nine to block in your fighting game. Could not be me. We're looking for the brave counter. One hundred fifty percent damage for Zippy. So any hit that Uber Cheesecake is gonna get going to mean a ton, so Zippy wants to close it out right here, right now. Try to lock down one card left. If this works, I was, yeah. It, it does, oh no, it didn't kill. Wait, Zippy missed out on a kill opportunity there. There's the reversal ultimate skill to close it out that first game going to Zippy. And just for reference real quick, it's just, if you did not hold up prior to that super animation, you would get yep. up what they call a frame zero command grab. Zero after the flash. You had to be preemptive about it, knowing that Uber was looking for it. You know they were so excited to try and put that game in the bag, but yeah, Zippy towards the end there had no BP to be able to close it out. I wonder if death would have been too slow, so still able to seal game number one. Uber stuck in the corner now. Goodness gracious, already down to four cards left. Our ultimate skill does get the reversal DP to interrupt. 
Raging Strike, we can't close here and do succeed. All right. When you said no stocks, I was about to go launch into the, yeah, Zippy doesn't feel, you know, too uncomfortable about just waiting for death to come back. But nah, no waiting for death will bring death into his own hands with our Raging Strikes. Now we're on set point. We'll roll through, get the scoop. Nice interrupt here from Uber Cheesecake. The far end does get the headbanger. Lariat all the way over to the other side. EX Pile Driver to put a little bit of damage on the board here. Oh. And Shimmy walk back into the close L. Do we spend? I don't think so. Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah. Right. Use the BP. Might as well get it back. Yeah, absolutely. You, you remove one from the opponent, you bring one back for yourself. Yep. You know, Zippy is willing to let those Brave Counters rock, so one less resource on the board. That's good as far as you're concerned. Uses the BC in turn to pull up for the SPD. Does it kill? Know. Oh, nope. Buff Diva! <laughs> Help her. And she's not even in chip damage range, right? I feel like she still has one more yeah, HT. One. That's a whiff of the Raging Strike. It's one touch, go into chip range. And Do what it. a neutral jump. You're dead. That. Yo. <laughs> Call up Psy Games right now. Fukuhara, <laughs> I can't believe I died. What happened? But Arxis games, for some reason, kill it with their lobby setups. Like, yeah. I still love the Revelator lobbies. Cool. This lobby system, I'm finding secrets all over the place when I go to the mm -hmm. public lobbies. It's crazy. Yeah. There's a whole island off in the corner here that you can fly yeah. to. That's great. Exactly. It was cool. I stopped by the JP server, you know, just to do the crane game. And then I was like, oh, Happy New Year, everyone. That just got like five new Happy New Year's. I was like, wow, what a nice little interaction here. But now we're seeing violence on the screen as we head into this next match. Near versus six. Already got the throw. Don't you dare try to DP me. Mm-hmm. Flash on through with the back step, but no, Elsa was ready for it. Knew you were going to try and take that space. Ooh, flashing on through with the death call. Yep, got the two you follow up, bring it down with death. All right, nice brave cancel. Sandwich in between. Doesn't recall death at all because we know we're going to have this advantageous position in the corner. Big follow up to spend the skybound dart and does succeed in killing. Ella Haven goes down. Elsa, very clean round there. Yeah, quick round one. I see you guys noticing the uh, prismatic flower crown as well. Elsa, one of the grinders of the online scene, right? I feel like I constantly see her streaming tons of these first attempts back to back to learn every single one of these matchups. Is not satisfied with just playing a strong character, wants to be a strong player to pilot it as well. Stuck in the corner, right. but not too scared. Cancel here. Oh, jeez, what an interrupt there from Elsa. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was the cell running up on it. Bro, that was the behind the back 5H to put you into the volleyball. That's crazy, dude. This is actually high Q season four all the way ahead. There we go. Game one to Elsa. I do need to pick back up the high Q. You know? I'm saying me too, me too. I'm a little inspired. I'm behind. Cry at him. Who said cry at him? What did he mean by this? What's your power? I cry real hard. Uh -oh. That's a crazy quirk to pull up to my hero with. But game number two, Nella. Trying to tie it up here, stuck in the corner. Yep. Ooh, but nice reversal here from Elsa to get the cross under it from wall pick up on top of it and keep you locked down with the ultimate skill death summon. Oh yeah, 2v6U, so setting up the high low there. I wonder if that JU was a little too tall to reach crouching. I wonder if that was early from Elsa, or if we're trying to bait out, you know, a brave counter or a parry. I'm not too sure. Still, not able to kill off of it. Does catch the Raging Strike to clear out all the BP. Ooh. Good finish here. Battle two. Just complete control from Elsa, and that is kind of what uh, Nier represents. Six has so many tools that can really contend against Nier. It's, again, like another one of those situations where you're going up against somebody who plays near maybe a little bit differently than you're used to. Like, you understand the toolkit of near, but then you have to play through the player's mentality. And yeah. now we've got this corner offense. Kind of keep the opponent guessing. Good dash back on the Rekka to get in a safety. DP not often to go for a lot of the follow-ups, but Empty Hand gets caught out with a counter hit. 2H. I'm going to go for a full confirm here, but Elsa just content to look and buy for that screen space. Just goes for the reset, wants to lock down the side swap, 6-6-M. Six, six, yeah, the 
Guard button check. The cross up overhead. A rough way to get knocked out of top 48 winner's side. Knows, but right? Like, what would be your layout if you had the A button layout if you come into this game here? I know there's a bunch of you out there playing on stick mm -hmm. and even on lever list. So you got something sorted out. In victory. And we got something norted out. North sticking in the winner's side here against Shuabu. Really gonna gonna let to make their way to the top eight. I, I don't know. Is Shuabu gonna let themselves get norted? They dodged the 5H but ran into the MVP. Alright, well, if I see Shuabu with yellow eyes next time I see them, I know who to blame. You know what happened. <laughs> Two and the push out. For a close age. Ooh! They're walking away for Nort. The Raging uh. Strike follow up. Jump on over. Yeah. I wonder if we would have committed to the teleport there. That would have been interesting. Yeah. We still got that corner. Great stuff here from Shuabu. Trying to build up as much meter as we can before we cash out. Yeah, because we got that combo limit reset. Mm -hmm. Walking out with the 6XL. I like the use of the back step. Make Nort feel a little afraid to try and take that space. All right. You dive kick into the close age. Catches out of press from Nort. Round number two, just gonna go for the whiff empty hand. A lot, I feel like we'll see a lot of that, right? Players, I think, are getting more and more used to six, just trying to skip neutral with the EX empty hand, the EX dive kick. So right. instead, they're gonna go for the whiff, try and bait out these DPs or these whiff 5Hs, and then take space on it afterwards. So, yeah. Shubu gets the corner, but gets MDP'd out. Yeah, and historically, that's something that Shubu always represents in their play when picking up six. Oh yeah. my goodness. And uh, it, it does work out in various reasons, right? You gain your space, you're in a full screen situation to force the opponent to you know, overextend in a way, especially with Darmaya being able to warp to different positions, uh, utilizing unique uh, ultimate skills, rather, and even just her uh, far slashes. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Ooh. side swap. Nice stuff here, but goes with EX dive. Yeah, looking for the far slash. He's looking for the cross up slash. This gets you the corner, but Nort, no help to your name. So a well placed mash from Shuabu puts the first game in the pocket. Game for Shuabu. Yeah. Right, Nort taking a second says, damn, I almost had it. I had the reversal in the momentum, but, you know, just trying to put in these gaps, these delays, where you're looking for the parry, where you're looking to react to the, uh, you know, Empty hand is giving Shubu the opportunity to fight back out. Try to get here, stand M. Go dash out. Again, off the Rekka series. Doesn't overcommit. Doesn't want to get reversal through it. Just like that. Nice interrupt on the teleport here. Able to get the uh, triple attack into the corner with the follow up on the Raging Strike to get full damage. Keep it going up. Projectile gonna go for the same jump. No, opts to go for the throw, and Nort is ready for it. Still able to challenge. It was a good little knowledge check right there against Nort. Tried to spot dodge it this time around and still got blown up after the uh, recovery of the dive kick. Again, the same jump into the luck. Oh man, it's so nasty. Auto combo into the empty hand. You have high, low, and you gotta worry about throw. Well, there's only so many ways that you can block, but Nort <laughs> holding on here. It's set point for Shuabu. Yeah, Shuabu with the shimmy opening up triple attack. That raging strike follow up into the corner we go. Just goes to the hard knockdown setup. Yeah, combo limit reset. There's the scoop. Oops. Okay, clean throw attack into the 5H. Just trying to catch any run up from Shuabu. But no, they're playing patient just right out of your range. Run up for the projectile. And gets caught out on the dome for it. Close, heavy. Resist for parry. Oh, the interrupt on the ultimate skill. Shubu is in the zone right now. And they just have to be so patient because they have no bravery points. But we'll go for another dive kick to close it out. Shubu with the 2-0 victory over Nort. Complete quarter control. And that is what makes six amazing so scary. grand blue rising action stop on by for a direct contribution as we move into our next set of top 48 have a nice day versus key wonder yes this will be another qualifier here for top eight shubu qualifying winner side top eight and now potentially another six shows up if have a nice day has something to say about it but it would be i believe the first grand to show up in a top eight if i think uh, so. key wonder shows up here yeah 
Yeah, I saw on Twitter recently, not to bring it back to the gacha, but apparently there was a player character called Blue before. We could have had Gran and Blue, but no, it's not the reality we have. We got Jita not on the screen right now, but we got Gran fighting his way back out of the corner with the EXDP. Knocks at the door. Gron, despite receiving some changes from the original game, hasn't really changed in game plan all that much. Like, yeah, great, I have a new super, uh, but for the most part, my Tims are still you know, pretty clean, not scuffed up, and backed up with ultimate skill follow-ups. We should still go coast to coast. Look at this, yep. couple shimmies, two you still unpunishable. Woos. All right, two flex to the corner, once again, step on him. You wonder. Trying to make your way back out of the corner, be a little skeevy with the footsies, but no, have a nice day, just lets it rock with the Rekka. Yeah, nice pick up with the Raging Strike. Spend it for the Skybound Art to get the kill. Have a nice day here to make a turnaround. Yep, see the full moon, end it with a super first round. Eight to the six. Let's see if Key Wonder can keep up. Okay. Projectile for projectile. The jump back means have a nice day. That air fireball, not quite going to reach. I just think the opt to back off, and I think we are backing up to respect the DP opportunity that Grom has, which Key Wonder has not represented that as an option quite yet, but the threat is still very much there. Grom players definitely had that option, especially how quick it can recover. Um, you can spend your EX for the double hit or even just for the single. Tried to interrupt the unique action. 6XL does get parried. Have a nice day. Going a little crazy with the U claws and afterwards going for the parry on the minus range. You gotta put it on Key Wonder's brain, right? You know, just because I'm yeah. minus doesn't mean it's your turn. <laughs> I love oh, how the hurt box just flipped right over the fireball there. Off the wall for the dive kick. Have a nice day with the maneuverability. Bro, he was in the matrix. Going over another fireball with the empty hand. You know, excellent route into Skybound Art. I believe we're living here. We sure yeah. are. Of the kill, but this next interaction Whoa. you're guessing for game plus six on block. But have a nice day. Still two BP in the bank for any brave counter. All right, there we go. No more bravery points, plenty of health on the side of have a nice day. But your back is it at the corner, which is a great position for Gron. Unless Ooh. you use unique action, that is tough. Watch the chip. Yeah, at the chip damage range, I feel like Key Wonder is looking to be both reactive and preemptive at the same time, right? right. Catching out however Have a Nice Day is looking for that chip damage uh, kill. They opted to go for the air projectile, so unfortunately taking the space on the ground does not work out. Game number two might be looking like a repeat with how it's starting out. Stagger pressure in the corner. I'm surprised there has not been a deep... Okay. Well, <laughs> there you it were is. surprised. That's 10. <laughs> okay, okay. We see you, Key Wonder. We're, in the, we're on the same wavelength. I mean, that, and that's the first one that we've seen, right, to try to interrupt this pressure. And I think yep. maybe we get a little more liberal with that because there are a lot of delays here. And have a nice day. I feel like at this point, is really trying to test the reactions of Key Wonder. And you're giving the green light for have a nice day to continuously stagger in the corner and really bully you out of these situations. Yeah, it's scary. You know, have a nice day isn't, you know, leaning into it every single time, but has represented right. minus frames into parry, right? So even just being uh, scared to take your turn is definitely something on the mental for Key Wonder, especially when your health is this Ooh. low. But nah, we ball with the ultimate dive kick. It's not Ooh. enough. The boot sends you to set point. Yeah, I mean, I get it, right? You want to carry coast to coast, have a corner position. But Gron's neutral alone should be able to kind of handle a lot of what Six is representing. I mean, you have to worry about the rate of speed that Six approaches and rushes you down, of course. But 2M is such a good button for Gron. Even going for unique that we've seen a couple times here from Key Wonder. 6XL is fine, but come on, that 2M is such a good button to kind of shut down that run up, especially if the opponent is committed to dashing up with pressure. Ooh, tries to go for the 2M there. It's not quite going to reach. Key Wonder trying to hold on to this grand blue zone. It's the name of the game, but no, the U wall cling. Have a nice day. Brings us back to the mid screen. What? Back to the corner. Dude. Corner yeah. carry on six. A little crazy. Three BP available. Barely any health left. What are you going to do, Key Wonder? Oh, no. Whiffed on the guard cancel here. Hey, and, you know, we definitely need to talk about, we're not going to see it here, but we definitely need to talk about corner carry from Grob because just yeah. because Six shows off corner carry here, let's not forget who originated that corner carry. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, direct contributions still could go a long way. If you can't, feel free to tweet it out. Let folks know that Grand Blue Rising is happening here on Tampa Never Sleeps. And maybe there is someone else out there that is certainly capable of putting into the match arena. So greatly appreciate it.
Hell yeah, and let's see it. Appreciate us heading into this final top eight winner's side qualifier, Zippy versus Sin. So I thought I recognized this name. Sin has been holding it down on the Zoe as well. We saw Diamond rocking it a little bit, but Sin, I think, you know, really committed to this character. You're gonna have to, you know, find an answer against the near though. This is scary. She has a lot of ways to lock you down, yeah. even the slashes from full screen. Yeah, you know, you think about a lot of the great mid-range normals that Zoe is going to have in her arsenal. But, you know, one factor that's going to be super important in this matchup is getting the dragon setups. And yeah. Zippy is going to be able to easily lock that down by just sending death, like, immediately, right? Round start, there's no opportunity for Zoe to set up lightning, no opportunity to set up dragon. And a lot of Zoe's pressure ends up being unsafe without it being backed up by one of those things. Exactly. Yeah, you got to worry about the Dragon Meter. You're at 50%, but, you know, at this point, that's not your concern. Just getting out of the corner is a concern. You got tapped mm -hmm. with the close L, but I don't think Zippy was ready to confirm the hit. No. All right, nice late tech here. Head stagger with the 6L. Auto combo goes for the overhead triple attack, and Sin just barely in SSBA range. You have a lot of health to work through, though. Jeez, yep. Strike follow-up here, and what a kill. Zippy, complete control, and it's so difficult, right? Like, I can understand from, you know, we joked a little bit, right, why we put Zoe at bottom tier, uh, you know, Daifo doing that. Mm -hmm. But I can get it, right, if you played this matchup in particular. It's tough to really get that ball rolling in the case of Zoe. So we already have heavy beam set up, but again, death, not a lot for the next opportunity to go out there. I can see unique action kind of coming into play, but even still, like, you're not challenging death. Yeah, it's scary. You know, you want to mash 5L to try and at least get it off the screen to have like one or two seconds where you can finally try and run up. But the cost of being wrong on that frame trap is exactly this, right? You're going to get caught out into the Raging Strike. Zippy's going to have all the meter to be able to close it out here. All right, set point. Battle two. It'll be a very quick round here. We have to try to get something. Goes for light dragon setup. And dragon's still in the background. Lightning on top of it. Oh, watch out. Yeah, great recognition there from Sin. That heavy beam. Not going to be able to commit through death. Nope. Yeah. Goes all the way through that armor. And then Sin remembers they have some armor of their own. That 6 6 H gets into this corner positioning. Now Zippy still has DP available. You got to be careful. So we're seeing some spaced out pressure from Sin. But instead, gets caught up with the 6 6 L. Back throw, getting an advantageous position. Sin looking worse for wear right now in battle points, so this will definitely hurt with this opener. Yep. Ooh. Don't tell me, Zippy. Wait a minute. No, you uh, got At seven stocks, I don't think it quite kills, but it is a lot yeah. of damage. Yeah, oh my god. JC, why? <laughs> no! Why did you commentator Chris? <laughs> Guys, I gotta be real with you. My record on Willa Kill is not the greatest on the, the fairy. Yep, I mean, Fairy, again, got a lot of great tools coming into this version of the game. Uh, B-Paw, definitely happy with a lot of those changes coming into this one here. B-Paw hadn't left uh, Fairy uh, in nope. the vanilla version and coming into this one, still continuing the pace. Um, I'm curious on this matchup in particular, but I think GG is definitely going to be a little bit more threatening. Um, this matchup was interesting because uh, the joke always is it is the Pokemon battle and the yep. range at which uh, Diaphone could uh, play with Dragon and really kind of interrupt a lot of that game plan from Fairy. But now, now with ultimate skills backing her up, it might be a different story. Yeah, let's see. I mean, ultimate skills for Zoe, right? One of the big things is the huge dragon call. It really catches out and controls that airspace and also gives her a little bit of time to spend 50 meter and get a guaranteed dragon charge. As far as Fairy, I feel like a lot of her, you know, long-standing fans haven't really felt a lot of value coming out from the new ult skills, but I don't know. Right. Let's see what B-Ball can make. You live after the super, but you barely have one HP. Alright, you know, this whole super thing, I, I'm gonna leave it to you, Zero. You got it. Darn it. <laughs> Every time. Round one over to Diaphone. Knocked out. Dash up with just a standout. Oh, pull through. Oh, that's tragic. That was supposed to be a roll through opposite side to hold the corner position, but uh, I don't think we had the knockdown quite yet when we activate a roll. Right. GG behind you, no, but the pushback unfortunately was not enough to keep you jailed. Now B-Boss still trying Ooh. to hold down this mid screen, but the armor goes right on through the poke. 
666L. Again, trying to close this gap. I'm really curious, like, we could potentially... There it is. Yeah, I was going to say, like, a lot of these heavies can kind of come through. But the, the pace at which Diaphone is rolling and also going for 66L, it might be a bit of caution Ooh. for the side of Beepaw to really kind of control that mid-screen. Because uh, Diaphone is definitely getting in for free quite often in cases where... Uh, Fairy can generally kind of put a button out in the mid-range that kind of stops that from happening. TSP in FGC. Thank you so very much for the rain. We appreciate it. T-Spin hey, FGC. T -spin. I, wow, yeah. T-Spin. All good. I think they were doing some plus R foul, so hopefully you guys had a good time there. We're playing some Grand Blue. This is Losers Top 8 qualifiers between Beepaw and Diaphone. Fighting for their lives, but Diaphone up one game. Guys, look at the drill kick. Scooped up with another pickup ultimate skill. Oh, what a full goal from Diaphone. Yep. Ooh, dodges the 6-6-H. I love the use of the backstep into sweep, but still Diaphone letting the UDP rock. Yep, locked down with GG. Clean throw tech. <laughs> into the whip. Let's set up the ball. Yeah, definitely going to try to respect this for a little bit. Let it do its work. Not stopping Diaphone from advancing forward into the wall we go. Nice Raging Strike follow-up. We're on match point now in this top 48 losers match. Yeah, and I feel like that's such a smart call to go for the laser beam sweep when you see that ball super from Beepaw, right? It denies the ability to run up behind the super even though you spent right. that 100 meter. And then off of the scramble, Diaphone was able to seal it out. Set point. Now you're backed up to the corner with these 6-6Ls. Six, six No, try to get the guard cancel. What a brilliant 2L delay to get a dash up to get another stand L interrupt. Diaphone setting up with lightning. No spot dodge. The raging strike. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Tried to bait out the brave counter, but goes for a raging strike himself. Diaphone sends Beepaw out at number nine, but a valiant fight. Yeah, absolutely. Versus all right. Yeah, so we got the, right. you know, alternate costume. Can't wait for costumes for other characters. Here's to hoping we get summer costumes. Y'all see Eustace in summer minute. costume? Eustace uh, summer you know, costume I, I is have pretty seen good. It. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. But this Cagliostro costume looking a little crazy, too. Yeah. That's not the Cagliostro I'm used to. It turns out Murp is pulling out the six for Key Wonder here. Says, nah, nah, nah. I am not trying to go for the silly, funny Aristotle. I'm pulling up. Let the intros rock. This is the end of the journey for one of them. Stuck out at number nine, the top eight qualifier. Let's see it. Game number one. Drawn equipped with the Keyblade, of course. You know. There we go. And this is the play that I was kind of talking about in the set with Have a Nice Day. Got a couple 2Ms there. Just to try to interrupt. Also got that corner carry with the boots. Good block on overhead. Stagger pressure does get teched out. Oh no, I think we tried potentially a throw, but already had an L right on top of it. Yeah, the delay just running up for that close L, keeping you locked down here. Pressure reset with the air projectile. No, but Key Wonder just holding on strong. Double projectile into the boot, and you know that it's going to be spaced out enough to at least be safe. Oh, interesting. Yeah, ultimate skill fireball going to get caught by the aerial fireball from Merp. Follow up raging strike. Good. Chunk of damage, but not able to get that corner carry that we're looking for. We might have been able to EX uh, boot and got that wall flat with another follow-up after. Auto combo, yep. Doesn't want to have to hold any special after. Just go for Brave Counter. Try and fight for the screen space. And a trade on the projectiles as well. Spot dodge. Nice 5L right after. I mean, perfect timing because we've seen some folks... They'll do spot dodge on the dive kick, but yeah. a little bit later in the dive kick animation. So that earlier start did work out for Key Wonder, able to get that uh, punish. All right, run up for the throw, gradually putting your back to the corner. We just walk up immediately for the projectile. Just throw off your timing to when you try and interrupt the special cancel, but no, ultimate boot all the way to the other side. I didn't think that it would actually be corner to corner, but no, Murph not gonna let that one lie down. <laughs> Nice fireball. A couple 6-6-Ls for the plus frames. No spot dodge. Wasn't quite ready for it. Ooh, projectile. Maybe trying to jump yeah. over a DP. Yo, the 2-L confirm with the Raging Strike. No EX boot. That would have been wall splat. 
Ooh. All right, at least we got a round on the board for Murph. Tied up here. Man, the cinematic round threes are always so good on these maps. Give these players a little bit of chance to breathe, throwing the projectiles out, but Murph actually delaying the air fireball to go over. Okay. Plus H, the overhead. Yep. Yeah. Triple attack overhead. And that's the Rekka overhead. Yep, go for the empty low off of the empty hand ender. And that was a great call on Key Wonder to not DP there, actually. Like, yeah. I know I've been trying to ask for Key Wonder to do it. Right there, that was your safe jump. Do not try to DP there. Exactly. Has seen this setup one too many times. They're chilling. They're like, nah, oh. I'm good. Wait and yeah, it here. looks like we're getting a bit of uh, latency here. That's unfortunate. All good. At least they're trying to wait it out. Let's see if the network comes back. It looks like it's fine on my end, question mark, with a little walk back. Take your five paces and shoot. Tell me, what's up with the internet this week? It's been very That's weird. Awesome. Have, it has. I hear in Canada one of the ISPs going out, but all right, Murph going up one game. I think they're returning to the lobby to just figure yeah. that out. I understand. Absolutely. Trying to take it off of that ultimate skill victory. Unbelievable. Exactly. You guys are saying some crazy stuff in the chat as far as the ISB connections go. Don't worry. I mean, maybe, you know, they just got YouTube on in the back. They have their tournament playlist. I get it. I get it. Why can't I say it like Grom, though? That's how you say it. I, saw I guess that. on the JP gotcha game side. Yeah, yeah. I saw. Unbelievable. Let a man you rock. Let him Grand? choose his what do you, BA. What do you think? It's Grom. Granite and Blue. Grand? What was your grandmother, grandpa? Grantony Fantano. The Blue Drop. They say Graham Blue, sure, Blue. Sure, but like this is Grom. We said Juan Azul. The Majas incident. We saw Junior <laughs> Jam earlier on the stream. Yeah, yeah. He says, he says Grom at the beginning. Yeah, Grom because of Grom Blue Fantasy. I agree, Spherical. We're, we're saying the same thing. Oh, I see the players calling for a, a stage swap as well to try and see if that mitigates any of it. I agree. I mean, it looked fine until that round three, so I wonder if it really is just a stage select. Guys, in the chat, I wonder if you've had any, uh, you know, findings on which stages are best for net play. I've been seeing a lot of people say that they're mostly all okay, but I know some of you are, are grinding the data and making sure that they have the optimal experience. So, looks like we're going to be launching right back into it here. Yeah, Coliseum usually was the go-to in mm. the previous iteration, right? Like, uh, yep. But now it's new era, a new, whole new world, a whole new sky faring and Grand Blue Fantasy. Yep. New day, a new dawn, but we got the Sunset Coliseum here for game number two. Key Wonder trying to slash on through and stop Murph's approach, but no, he just pulls up for the throw. Right, yeah, DP. There we go. See, we're feeling more confident with these DPs. All right, that last one was on purpose. All right, Ninja, you got it. Okay, congratulations. You get like five channel points. Exactly. All right, trying to get something going with this air fireball, but Key Wonder, I think, has been doing a good job of playing around and being patient on these jump back or neutral jump fireballs where Merp is trying to catch the approach. The space that we're looking for. Yeah, I like the 5U charge wind up into the projectile just to make sure. Catch an approach here and catch ten. a $10 contribution from Risky Sweep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's an EX boot. That was interesting. But we've got the spot dodge. And you know what? Because you are the Blessed Gron, you do get the 5H able to go for EX boot right there. Very few able to make that punish at that range. Yeah. Blessed with the boot. There we go. Key Wonder cashing out here. Yeah, playing patient against the projectile. But now Murph, I think, has caught on to the fact that Key Wonder is really respecting it and opting to try and take the screen space off of it. But no, respecting the parry and able to counter hit you out of it, too. He's opened up a final hit of the Rekka. That is unfortunate. Ooh. There you go. Yeah, you got to let it rock eventually. I know Murph oh. has been looking out for the DPs, but no. Right, like confirm into the raging strike. So much corner carry off the boot. Oh. The Tim's ultimate skill. Got a little bit of a charge. Ooh, yo, Key Wonder is playing on a different level right now. Ultra Instinct activated, not being touched by a single grab. 
just outside of the range every single time Merp was trying to interact. Like a single step back. Ankles broken. So perfectly spaced. You know that one inch heal on the Tims? That was exactly what he needed for the pixel perfect spacing. I mean, Key Wonder, right? After heading back into the game, says, All right, I see your game, Merp. Let me see. I mean, the game number three. Let the EXDP rock. It's like you're saying, Zero. You gotta represent it. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to see against Have a Nice Day, uh, who admittedly was definitely very cautious of these DP opportunities. All right, we do have a good Raging Strike follow up. Oh no, yeah, it was holding block. We're gonna spend the BP there. Still maintain equal, Ooh, equal ranking on that resource. Right, into the Rekka, tries to go for the frame trap. Key Wonder does not bite, is fine with holding the uh, the plus frames here. Ooh. I go over to the corner, but you have no BP to your name. About to build the 50, but no, just gotta opt for one more touch. Stop. Ooh. Yeah, 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 that's tough. At that range, it's it's a little difficult to try to throw out a fireball against six because of the threat yeah. that is Berserker Barrage. Exactly. The ultimate claws, it's it's really just one of those hitboxes that's like unmess withable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you just yeah. want to be in their face, putting the hitbox there as fast as you can with the screen slowdown. Now we're on set point for Murph, trying to make their way into the loser side top eight. Oh, jeez. No follow up, fortunately. The two you? Oh, there we go. The breakdance sweep. Sometimes you got to get him with a little leggy. I see you. Key wonder. No, but with the charge, not enough time to try and uh, spot on the ultimate ride stand. EX parry. Ultimate key wonder. Pressure. Close age. Ooh, that was scary. You recovered in mm -hmm. time to block the ride stand. Oh, ultimate skill worked out this time. Got the Ooh. throw on the parry. And that's the other thing too, once you see that ultimate skill pop off, start paying attention to your opponent's ability meter because that's another opportunity you can challenge without having to fear for that parry opportunity. Speaking of here, yeah, uses the ultimate riot stamp. That's the full combo to close it out. Merp is going to move on to loser's top yeah, eight, but especially great. when you only have a limited amount of gains. But dude, we got the dog cam headed up for the Zoe mirror. Okay, okay. She Let's attacked me. She attacked ah. me. There was nothing we could do. All right, Sin versus Diaphone here. I did not expect the Zoe mirror in top eight qualifiers. Yeah, neither did I. I mean, it's tragic we're gonna see the, the Zoe mirror here. Uh, Cause it's also a Zoe team kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, we'll see who gets set up more. 6XL, ever the threat. Got the slam on the Rekka Ender. No, but this one's gonna go for corner carry into the beam. Lightning set up here. Into the medium. See, and that's gonna be another threat, of course, because that's gonna be your standard routing if the opponent opens up on medium dragon. And you get that air route right after. 2M to go right under that far M. Nah, but we do the TK. You lightning keep you locked down here, but it's not enough. Jeez. A raw raging strike. And oh my god, that score. pickup is so cool, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got one right for you too. Ooh. Yeah, do it again. God said I could do it too, but mine is gonna corner carry and push you near death. No bravery points for either player. Yeah, that's a punish. I lied at Ooh, the spot no. dodge, my god. Man, I actually did not think you'd be able to recover in time off of the dragon call. Someone said someone said in the chat, yeah, Diaphone just picks up any character and consistently gets the top eight, and then you curse the super punish. It was so close. But you know, I think a lot of us Follow thought the super was gonna land there. Round yeah. number two. And a subscribe with the prime from Friend of Dot. Hmm. A little too timely, don't you think? A little too on the nose. Very on the nose. But we appreciate it. I'll take that. Hell yeah, thank you. I too am friend of doggos. <laughs> Friends of the Dragons here fighting it out in the mid screen. Just goes right through the Dragon Call with the 6-6-H. Says, no, no, no. I'm going to put it on the screen. You're going to think to do it too. But no, just go through with the armor. 6-6-L, 2-M. Oh, yo, the interrupt. Oh, my God. Diaphone. 
All right, Diaphone ties it up here in game number one. That's how we feel? Round start, we jump start? in? Yeah, right, the round start spinning slash. I mean, we've been doing a lot of trying to control the ground movement, right? With the far M, with the 2M. So I get the idea, and we're letting it rock again with the H spinning slash. But still, not going to lead into too much here. Just setting up. Try to keep that locked down with the medium dragon summon. Or far medium, excuse me. Damn, pick up with the 2M. Dragon gets you so much meter back. Sin is looking so good going into round number three. So far up on the Dragon meter. <laughs> Down again. Hold that corner. Ultimate skill. And oh my god. Back to back spot dodge Ooh. for Diaphone to send it home. Man, clutching it out. It looked so rough when they were both at full screen. Diaphone, barely any Dragon Mina to his name, but still able to weave and dodge his way through. Put a game on the board. It's been so interesting that in this version of the game, we don't see uh, too many Dragon Charges very often, if at all. No. Like, obviously, the ultimate skill Dragon Summon is the uh, Dragon Charge, but yep. still, like, very rare comparatively to the original version. Here it is now. I've mentioned it and freeze the game, I guess. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> yeah, they showed it. All good. The Rekka gets so much corner carry. It's like you're saying, right? We're seeing these micro charges as mm -hmm. part of the combos, but it's scary to try and do and commit in oh the mid screen, gosh, especially yeah. if you know your opponent is ready to try and catch the follow up. Absolutely. We got a bit more pushback with lightning set up here for Diaphone. Calls out Ooh. the EX, the ultimate skill DP, rather. All right, yep. Going to the SSBA. Drain the BP here. Sin is going to live, but still, you're in throw range. Oh my god, I was so scared to be wrong another time, but all good. We're one for four right now. Sin fights their way back out, even after the super knockdown. Ooh. Good roll. Stagger with the 6XL. And that dragon is a threat. Like, great respect from Diaphone there. Not trying to take, uh, you know, that action for granted because that dragon will flip around here and still challenge. Yep. Oh, nice. Very looks for the light confirm into the raging strike. That's going to be set point. iPhone just needs one more to get into loser side top eight. Oh, nice. right, go. Unique charge. Just get that anti-air. Oh, early spot dodge. What a pickup with jump you. Full he said no just to staying on the ground. Yep. In the corner, spend the BP. You're about to get the super up anyway, you might as well. Oh no, instead, he's gonna go for the Link Dragon, only cost the 25. Lay it down, go for the side swap off the wreck. I love the routing. Stagger pushed out a little bit further for that far M. Nice tag. Oh, Brophy with the U Lightning! Final round here. This is now match point for Diaphone. Yep. Alrighty, Sin, can you tie it up here? Have a round on the board. Still actually getting pushed over to the corner, though. Overhead. UDP, you gotta represent it, but still, that's 50 meter down. That's one less dragon call. He's. <laughs> And, you know, uh, these quote-unquote Tiger Knee lightning charges. Yep. Sometimes you gotta let it rock with the 5L. Do another TK lightning. Yeah, that instant jump really catching a lot of these overheads. And Sin trying to give Diaphone a taste of their own medicine. Still not able to follow through. Diaphone ready for it. Oh. Diaphone one hit away. It's a dire situation for Sin as the spot dodge gets caught by the laser sweep. The late active frames. Sends you out at ninth place. Yeah, we, uh, we'll see who gets Norded again. Yeah, because we went up. Uh, actually, got knocked down here by uh, who was it? I put. We saw it. Or beep. No, Nort beat B paw. It was Shubu. Yeah. Shubu. Oh, I see. Oh, so six sent them down into the loser side, and it's mm -hmm. a potential for six to send you out as well. So let's see. What did you learn from that set when you had some time to reflect? Let's see. It's fascinating to see this many sixes because six was a threat right. in Grand Blue versus. Yeah. But 
we did not have that many. I'd say, what, we had maybe two sixes that showed up regularly in a top eight situation. Mm -hmm. This many? This is insane. Yeah, definitely a strong contender as far as the uh, the early Grand Blue Rising tier lists go. But still, Narmaya, one of the relatively underrepresented characters, right? I wonder if Rudy has a particular game plan against a lot of these stance switches, catching up against all six of these specials as opposed to, you know, the normal four that we're used to. Right. Ooh, off the wall. It's a slow fall there. And I like the position that Nort's taking. It's honestly a reactable position against Broody. So if they take to the wall, you're going to be able to anti-air. Uh, if they go for like a dash up attack, you're going to be able to try to interrupt. But Nort still getting caught up by Broody out of this corner. Oh my god, and it's still going to set up into the safe jump. Did not want to have to worry about DP. Just set up with the projectile. Ready? No Ooh. great points on the side of Broody. So this is going to be able to kill. I mean, that was a great bait, right? We saw the exact same idea uh, from Diphone in the previous game with Zoe. Same thing here. You go for that fire wheel. Okay, just dance switch. We're in the sword stance. The close range pressure, but no, it's not enough to keep out Rudy. Damn, nice little pickup with the 2L there. Oh, I got caught by that. That was wild. Dude, 5U into the throw. That's evil. Yeah. There we go, JH nice. on the top row, paid out the Brave counter and ready to confirm. Yeah, we got the kill here. There it goes. Rudy keeps it clean, tying up the rounds. Oh my god, that unique action to sneak it. How? How did it deactivate so fast? Yeah, right? And you can get a similar situation where you can threaten to throw off of that uh, wall cling safe jump, right? But yeah. still, just representing how it looks visually different puts more on the mental stack for Nort, even if the answer is the same for those two different situations. Right. Okay, combo limit just to make sure we could kind of maintain that corner. Good block. One of those situations where if you're holding guard butt, you're not necessarily going to get mixed out. Try to go for parry attempt. That's not going to work, but the ultimate skill will get us out of the corner. Raging Strike, just get the follow-up here and the kill. All right, game number one over to Broody. I imagine Nort was trying to go for a safe jab. You know, the 5L, pretty non-committal, right? Pretty fast recovery. But if you're going for the U empty hand, that slowdown actually just kept you in the animation long enough that any delay on the close L just let you get that punish. Right. Believe in victory. Battle one. Alrighty, game number two. Broody just needs one more to move on to loser's top eight. Nort, how do we respond? Our H move, trying to challenge the Rekka series. I, they were expecting the, the dash back on it. Yeah. Tried to swing to catch that back step, but no, Broody just takes to the skies. Again, what? takes to the skies with the ultimate dive kick for that stall. Just bait out the anti air. Right, the combo limit with throws. That's definitely Nort's opportunity to try to push out. Unfortunately, caught sleeping at the wheel and does get reopened up in the corner with a Raging Strike combo. Yeah, you are good to go on this one. That's a round for Broody. Slash on through. See the curvature of the moon. We are on set point for Broody. Let's see if we can bring it home. You have to be as mysterious as the dark side of the moon if you want to survive this next round here, Nort. Again, stuck in the corner. We've seen this movie before. Does not get caught up by the shimmy, though. Same side dash flip. It's not going to be enough to open up Broody. Might stance swap. Ooh. That's a trade on the dive there. Pretty low one at that. Ooh. Nice. Got the slash series forward. Yeah, catches out the ultimate skill as well. That's 50 meter down from Broody. That's pretty good for the resource management as far as Nord is concerned. But you still have to be able to make your way out. Okay, soft bait on the Raging Strike, but now you're down to BP. It's a follow up here to the wall with the stance swap one more time. Get the full extension with that ultimate skill. Yep. Yep, link it to the U sets and no refund, but still it gets you a nice little knockdown. Oh no! Ultimate skill pair, but an air throw, the first one of the night. And the slowdown off the U empty hand again, giving Broody the challenge opportunity for a full punish. Do you link it to the Raging Strike? Oh, no. no, it's combo limit. Okay, that is very beneficial for North. No overextension for Broody, though. That wheel does get blocked. Nice guard cancel. Actually, chip for both players. Oh, this is so scary. The wheel of fate is turning, Ooh. and we go. 
come through with the dash. Oh, my God. Battle that was scary. You were one block special away from getting knocked out. Got our barrage. Carrying to the corner once again. This goes for combo limit. Not a, you know, large chunk of damage. Just wants to reserve the rest of those abilities for this next corner route that we're taking here. Yep, safe jump threatens the throw. Ah, uh, you claws, you lose your turn, rather. Still, a little bit of meter refund on block. Rudy's not feeling too bad about it, especially with mm -hmm. all the health lost on North. Yeah, North is definitely going to be the one that has to start opening things up as they try to fight out of the corner. Ooh. The teleport works. Nice throw. Yep, 50 meter for another U skill. Broody has 100 for the SSBA. Be careful. Yeah, and again, it won't even need the SSBA. It just needs an ultimate skill to wrap it up even. Yep. Oh, and trying to throw it out. Maybe being a little bit too preemptive. North has 45 seconds on the clock. You got time. You got to make sure you use it. But the suplex on the other side, Broody takes it with a back throw. Yeah, I mean, you were also in chip range. Literally, all that Broody needed to do was throw out anything. It could if you have been. If want to play any cool games, the Discord is the spot to pick it up. Lots of great folks to pick up and play with. And Absolutely. here we are. <laughs> here Some great folks are. headed to the stand. We got Have a Nice Day versus Shuabu, our first top eight winners match of the evening. We're rocking the six versus six. A 12 matchup here. Pulling up, stuck in the corner, but fighting your way back out with the 5L. It's, uh, yeah, you know, we have this bracket full of six players. Shubu and Have a Nice Day, like you said, starting it out here. And a big run for Shubu's money to start things off. Have a nice day. The other cat with the white cape. Cat versus Bro other cat. Yo, Lucas having a good time over on production. That's my goat. Sorry, that's American my cat. cat versus Canadian cat. Uh-huh. There you go. Stuck in the corner here. Still got a decent health lead to try and make your way through. Shubu not going to be too crazy about it. Just going to use the Brave counter. Yeah, is it six a, a, a wolf? I think so. Apparently, he is a uh, he's like a wolf or a fox or something. He's one of the above. Fox, I mean, some with ears. Exactly. You yeah, guys can correct us for the lore over there in the chat. Yeah, literally a wolf. I thought so because Eustace is a wolf. Oh, true, true. Man, the fox got claws just clung through that HP bar. Shuibu back against the wall here. Have a nice day. A full 100 meter. A lot of these use skills that, again, we've been seeing so much of the screen slowdown catch out the Abari attempts from a lot of these defenders. All right. Perry. Cross under with a close heavy. Mm. Pressure goes for the triple attack. Nice. Brave counter. One right back at you, but does get blocked. Oops. Nice back throw. Suplex to put your back to the corner. Jump over the U dive kick. No air stall catches me out right now, but the parry does. Oh man, have a nice day. You have a lot of health to work through and not a lot of health on your side as Shulu ties it up. Battle three. Engage. Opening interaction. Double air fireball. Unique action to shut down that first fireball. Wanted to go for the trip guard on that fireball, I believe, from uh, Shulu. Yeah, I believe it. Damn, beautiful pickup into the 5L there. It's a whiff on the Rekos, but look at all the corner carry you got off of it. Ooh. No bravery point. Six only daytime Coliseum. What is it, smash again? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just pulling up with the, the side B all the way, just the wall cling. All right, there we go. Rekos into the back step, trying to bait out any reversal Ooh. options, but no, not going to fight. That was a very good spot dodge there from Have a Nice Day. Coast to coast carry. Pick up into the close stage once again. Not enough to kill, but chip damage range off of the late tech throw. That is a game on the board for Have a Nice Day. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Look, if Kitsune says that six is a cat, I have to believe Kitsune. I would imagine Kitsune is a cat boy. You know. Oh, I suppose they would be a fox boy, uh, you know, aficionado, right? They would know. All right, game number two. Just a, just a reminder, as we head into top eight, that this is going to be first to three for the rest of the bracket. These final matches here. I am caught out with the triple attack overhead. Nice back throw here. Wants the better positioning. And neutral jump for the punish here. Have a nice day reading the air fireball like a book. Mm -hmm. A strong tool, but if you have the answer ready and the read on deck, gonna come up huge. Oh, damn. Okay, L claws just to go right under the EX projectile. Smart choice from Shuabu. All 
Alright, already got the unique action set up. Like the border. Again, just has so much access to, you know, the EX projectiles. There are a lot of ways to get two of them in a combo as long as you route it correctly, so. Alrighty, tied up on the round count here. Have a nice day. And you put another game on the border. Is Shubu gonna tie it up? Whoa. We're navigating the screen space here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 2M doesn't even get to confirm off of it, right? But the tech after puts you back into the corner, and Shubu is the perfect spacing to get mashed out on. Never mind. Next flurry overhead. Just maxing it out. Skybound Art stripping another point away. Right, next interaction guaranteed to kill. Throw range opportunity. Yo, knock at the Ooh. door. Who's home? Apparently not you. We have a 1-1 one, one on our hands. Could we see a game five? I I could see it in the cards. I'll tell you what. Game number three here. Taken to the skies with the EX Fireball. He's nice to M interrupt. That's a crazy bet from Shubu. Damn. All right. The Claws actually got caught up on the EX Fireball from the top rope. Walk up, bait out the ultimate claws. No, claws in return, but does not bite on the frame trap. Mm -hmm. there. Nice throw. And great patience at the very least. It was a neutral jump fireball here from Shubu and not going to bite on this ultimate skill. It gave time for having our say to come back down and take it back. A throw, almost there. Nice. Throw range. Damn. Every time Shubu has Have a Nice Day in the throw range, they know they're scared of it. They know they're trying to look for that tech and gets caught out with the delay close hell. I love it. It's a first, a two, you. Wait a minute. All right, a little sweep action. Haven't seen that in a little bit, but the wreck is to get the corner carry. We'll see that quite a bit more as we head on into the rest of this bracket. 50% HP down for the safe jump. Cool. Good interrupt on the EX Fireball. Dash out. Has to respect the space. The Fireball threatening. And yep. does get this Raging Strike. We do have 50% meter, but that's going to have to be held on to. Unless... No, we didn't. I was waiting for that Barrage meter to come back, but he was still he had 50%. You could still ultimate skill it. Yep. And that's the thing about the safe jump setup, right? We saw the parry come out. So, you know, safe jump doesn't matter as long as the hitbox is out during the parry active frames. It's going to be the counter, and it's going to be a whiff on the U dive kick. Oh, <laughs> boy, that does hit. My and there's God. no BP. It's a chunk of damage. It's not going to kill. Big opportunity for Shubu. You have to be so cautious on this next interaction, and I guess not because... One knock at the door, and it's time and time again that Shubu just gets to run up, give a couple close lights to see if you're, uh, you know, blocking, if you're attempting a parry. Uh huh. And, you know, still able to have time to commit and finish that round. Through the caution to the wind. One HP and a dream and all the confidence in the world. Shubu is on set point. I saw the players wondering, they were like, is this first to three? Do we wait till finals? Nope, you got at least one more game in you. Game number four. Is your dive kick? Nice interrupt on the overhead. It's pretty risky. Yeah, sometimes you gotta be willing to represent the mash and represent the parry to get out of the corner. Ah. And you had time to spot dodge to get out of that super two. Shuabu looking for all of these options. You can't test the reactions of Shuabu. Not at this point in the bracket. Maybe nope. when it's in the, the top three area, like you talk about mental endurance there. Maybe you'll be able to test those reactions. But right here, Shubu's locked in. Unfortunately, he's pieced up, though. That's not a good look. Locked in and clocked in, but you're running out of time. Running out of screen space as you get back into the corner here. Have a nice day. Doesn't have quite enough meter to close it out, but you still got one BP and a dream. Oh, okay. Got a brave counter. Air to air because it was jump light. It's going to be Shubu's turn. Jerry on the way down. I was wondering oh. if that was going to be a punish, but no. Oh, oh gets caught up with the air fireball. Immediate wall cling, trying to bait on something. Wait out. Any crazy neutral skips. 
And TK Breezy with the raid. Thank you so very much for hanging out in the chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for stopping on by with the homies. We're here, top eight winners. First match of the top eight side. Shuabu looking to try and close it out here on set point. Oh, the parry, not able to get the punish. Tried to get a pick up off of the Rekka mid-screen, but just a little bit too far. All good. The crouching confirmed means that you get that EX Fireball confirmed here. Might be able to get another one by the end of this combo as well. Yep. Yeah, stripping a BP. Gonna be within one more combo range of death, not throw. Stacking with the five L's. Yes. Plenty of resources on their side. Neutral jump with the EX. Having to stay wants this corner. Brave counter would put you into the Ooh. corner. Air Fireball to keep you there, but no, the delay Riot Stamp, because they're at different spaces on the screen, relative to the wall, there's a different spacing. And have a nice day. It's a round on the board. It's a very nice pair, especially in the slowdown state. That was the ultimate skill. Flash on the Fireballs. Mm -hmm. oh, Fall through on Rekka and does get opened up. Damn, little tap on the dome with a 5L. Not mm -hmm. going to try and spend the Brave Counter, or uh, Raging Strike, rather, to make sure you can Brave Counter later on. With the overhead, yep. You know, the triple attack overhead, I think it's definitely something we'll see a little bit more of. We don't see it. We hadn't seen it, like, very much early on in the bracket, but there were definitely some standouts to utilize it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. No BP on the side of Have a Nice Day. Having a rough time in this corner oh, right now. Goes that any next hit kills and the UDP sends you down to losers. Try it. Remember what I said earlier. You try to tech throws in Grand Blue, you will die for it. Don't yeah. uh, for those free players. But uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see how things continue down this path, especially in this mirror in particular. Uh, with Zippy, you know, definitely the one that has uh, a bit more consistency right now. Like, obviously, Elsa, don't get me wrong, has been making these top eights, but Zippy has been putting in a show uh, in quite a few grand finals throughout the last few weeks. Yeah, and seeing this mirror, you know, all the way in top eight, a lot of people are thinking, oh, man, you know, that's a long time to, uh, to take to meet. You know, it's pretty late into the bracket. These two, I believe, were grand finals of the previous WASD, so this is a run back, and Elsa wants to take it. I, uh, that was a two-touch right there. <laughs> she's she's definitely lapped the matchup since the last time these two have run into the bracket. Right? Zippy was able to take it, and you know, Elsa is a grinder. Again, constantly labbing out a lot of these matchups, trying to be one of the strongest years out here, so clearly the work pays off, but down 50%. Ooh. Yeah, we push it right back. Ooh, the challenge on the death. Not afraid of the frame trap, especially at so much health in the bank. Has to be a little cautious here. Doesn't want death to get summoned. One stock left in the uh, pocket of Zippy. And that's it. No more death. Mm -hmm. Alright. QM spin. Great counter takes death off the screen, but Zippy has no BP to try and go for the Raging Strike. Not lethal just yet. And no death on your side, so you can't go for super. Zippy's just waiting, bro. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yo, he caught the start of death back. No! Got caught by the Raging Strike. It's over, bro. Oh my god. You had no reaction to 5L, the startup of death, and Elsa's like, you know what? I'm just gonna run off in the full screen. Like, I'm not even waiting for death. I'll take it into my own hands and takes the first game. I see that Tampa Never Sleeps being labeled as a raider from TK Breezy. Furious. Really? Huh. You, you are the channel. <laughs> you're supposed to, you're, you're in another channel while running the... Alright. If, if we were near, we'd be very upset. But over here on the commentary desk, we're a little bit nicer. We're a little bit more forgiving. But Zippy not going to forgive that first game. Look at how much health Elsa's already down. Sweet situation. Nice. 6XL. Oh. Parry from that range. Interesting. Yeah, curious. I wonder if the... I'm assuming the super was going to try and go through the armor, but I guess Elsa had yeah. all the time in the world to just down back after the clash. Right, so, but yeah, because trying to have your your death interact with the opponent's death, that, that's that's very curious. All right, so we're all JoJo's the dead battle. <laughs> Whip on the 5L and immediately going for the 6-6L. Six, six Zippy puts a round on the board. Oh, 
Can I cancel? Ooh. Ooh, almost had that pick up. A little bit too far for it. Yep, send out death. JU goes unchecked, but the special cancel after. Elsa knows to look for the 5L. Yep, got the volleyball game set up. Nice, got her locked down there with the medium version summon. Yeah, he tried to spot dodge the hard bait, the brave counter, but Zippy using the BC immediately after to catch you in the counter hit recovery. That is a very smart timing. Oh, this is scary. Both of them, they're far <laughs> away from each other, but death is right on top, so. Yeah. Ah, they're scary. Ooh. Nice. The jab, that was so quick from Zippy. And the other Excel. fear, too, is that Elsa has 100% meter. Yeah. This could very well be just a single skybound art to shut it down. And I love that. Oh, no. Stop it. I was about to say Zippy is sitting on top of death on purpose to try, oh. <laughs> to, try to interact Elsa against death. But yeah, go ahead. I think Elsa might have been able to kill off of that stray hit from Death, right? But was, you know, honestly expecting for Zippy to just be locked down in a block stun, maybe looking for the 6XL afterwards. But, right. man, that 100 meter, unfortunate, just not quite ready to close it out. So Zippy ties up the set count. Start. Already got the lockdown, side swap, and great guard cancel call out. That's. Definitely an option you should utilize against Mir. If you're going to hold on to your bravery points, like yep. using them for guard cancels will definitely get you a lot of mileage on your game plan. Damn, and the hard bait on the brave counter as well. Finally, the spot dodge finds the timing. Elsa panicking a little bit off of that 2 3 6 M. Oki and the slashes. It's a quick round for Zippy. Her message sent well received. Uh huh. All right, run under the JU while you're summoning. No, just pull up with a 6-6-L, Zippy. Now, I know a lot of Grand Blue players enjoy 6-6-L, but Zippy is the top dash L representative. I'll tell you what. <laughs> right, gotta be preemptive. Yeah. All right, now that you're far away from death, or not. So far. Oh my God, and 2 3 6 you actually just catching out. He's nice carry here from Elsa. I love the route. Yep. 50 meter in the tank, but Zippy just needs one hit to be able to confirm. But no, the use skill again, just going straight on through. Something that we're seeing such good use of in neutral from Elsa. Mm -hmm. We have seen Zippy use that as an Oki tool, like a set play tool to try and go for the high low. But Elsa is not afraid to let the meter rock and try and use that to establish screen space. Right. Chobokins, thank you so much for the raid. Those for the ultimate skill, corner carry. Elsa, you know, with that very same route that we saw that last round. Yep. That's for the corner carry. It's not a huge confirm as far as damage goes, but now Zippy has to spend a lot of these resources just to traverse his way over to the other side. Still. How can the mid screen? Okay, you know, slowly yeah. making our way back over to the corner. Oh, and the dash up. Certainly believe the raging strike confirmed. Oof. My goodness, I was wondering because there was nothing really that Elsa could have done in terms of skills. Like, I thought maybe we tried an ultimate skill spend for that corner carry, but to your point, it might not have been enough damage. Thank goodness that the Raging Strike follow ups had enough damage in them to wrap that up because that would have been another tall order for Elsa to finish. Exactly. Or Zippy, rather. Spend all that BP. Oh, slashing on through, though. Yeah, the scoreboard is a little swapped up. It's all good. It is 2-1 for Elsa right now. So she just needs one more to move on to winner's mm -hmm. finals. All right, wait it out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because we know that Elsa has been waiting for you to try and make your approach and then catching you out with the screen slowdown on the ultimate skill. But still, Zippy, great adaptation to wait for it. The 6XL not quite getting yeah. punished for it, though. Try to interrupt him. Did succeed at least interrupting death to get a little cooldown time there. Nice jump over. Damn, jump on over. The 5L said unhand me, but now we're going to play some volleyball real quick. Spend the stocks. Ooh, same side. Doesn't go for that cross under immediate spend the skybound art. Oh, I wonder if we like, spent much... one more loop. Yeah, if yeah. it would have been able to kill. So how much damage uh, Mir can do off of that Skybound Art is crazy. It's very deceptive. 
Yeah, absolutely a character that has high access to damage. You think the stocks are low, but that just means the damage gets even higher on both of those supers. Absolutely. Go. Finish the route. Already had the medium setup. Calls out the guard cancel. Sippy waited as long as they could. Oh, nice. Damn. Shuts down the Raging Strike with no bravery points here. So Zippy really needs to make it count with that 50% life uh, deficit. Mm -hmm. All right, make it count with the SSBA. Drain the BP and take some for yourself. All right, Zippy, you got one BP in the tank. So does Elsa. What are you going to make of it? <laughs> to you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> The sweep. There we go. Elsa at the mid range just throughout that set. Made some you getting through a Monopoly game? Let's see. You're, you're not even going to get through a Catan game. Exactly. Plus, too many rules. What's up with these board games that have all these rules? I need more. Re I need a degree in a board game to play it. I don't need a degree in Grand Blue to play it. I just download it and play just like Della Halen and Die Hard on right now. We go block the 6 6 age ready for the punish after as well. Eight framer and the EX Rekka just gets you so much screen space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no escape 6 6 L. It's honestly Diphone's go to in this neutral. I mean, you get so much off of it, anyways, especially with safe follow ups there. You're plus two. Stuck in the corner here off the laser. There we Yo. go. TK Lightning representing it again for Diaphone. A huge throw bait starter. What are you reaching for? It says Diaphone on In the Skies. Nice skybound art. Strip and one more interaction. It's all that Diaphone needs with the EX Lightning setup. Set up the dragon. Soft hit there. Gonna dodge right on through, but no, the 6 6 L into 5 L. Forced to use the brave counter. Oh, wow. Nice back throw. Stagger with the 5L. There's your guard cancel. No bravery points on either side. But honestly, Diaphone just need a chip. Still got the opener there, but uh, we were definitely one hit away from victory. Damn. Catches on through with the far end. Catches out the approach from the round start. Okay. Nice late set. That keeps say, you alive in the mid-screen. I say nice late tech. Like, yeah, that's exactly what you want. I want to be knocked down and lose some health. But at <laughs> least you're teching. Exactly. Better than losing the screen space and having to hold a safe jump from Nella cool. here. And off of that advantage, still able to seal it out with a super for game number one. Pretty strong showcase here from Diaphone. Again, that Tiger Knee Lightning. Uh, I mean, just opening up the opponent, especially trying to bait out throw opportunities. Make you think twice about trying to tech throws. Exactly. Gotta keep it smooth. Gotta keep it clean. That 50 meter available, right? The TK Air Lightning just gets you so much damage on a good throw read and also keeps your turn up as well if you block it. So not a bad risk to try and throw out there. Does it go for the back dash? We were punished with that 6XL once before, but... Uh, Following through is just as risky. Again, holding that space with the far end. Nice, hmm. the TK Lightning. We've seen that sequence time and time before, and Nella gets opened up by it one more time. We'll actually wrap this up here with the Skybound art. Alrighty, another round on the board here, closing it out with the super. Nella, what are you going to respond with? Yeah, it's so crazy to see Nella being pushed back onto the west side of the screen. Like, Nella, after round opening Gambit, is just losing so much ground. This time around, going to make it to the opposite side, but got rolled through. Great wake up option from Diaphone. Risky one, but certainly paid off. Projectile tap you on the dome here. Gonna get a lot of corner carry off of this Rekka and already your back's to the wall from the from the other side of the screen. Remember what I said that uh, Zoe had no reversal in the previous iteration? And look at where we are now. It's the glow up for real, for real. But now the Rekka slashes on through once again. Nella cashes out on the Raging Strike. It's not gonna be able to kill off this, but the next combo is gonna build you the 100 meter. Ooh. Yeah, overhead confirmed. 
I think we probably tried to interrupt with the stand L on that overhead just was already so deep into the Rekka. Hide up here in game number two, but the round starts spinning. Slash says, no, no, no. You've been taken to the sky with the projectile too much. Let me take you back down to the ground. Like the lightning set up here. Try to bait out a throw. And uh, Nella Halen just uh, a bit of relax right now. I think it's a fair call. Counter-stack up the 6-6 six, six, L. Beautiful pickup off the far L as well. Diaphone looking so good on the HP. And Nella, worse for wear. Oh, my God. Again. Tiger knee lightning. Stand blocking is going to be very important, but also the fear of that range that Diaphone's playing at. What if I get caught with 2L, you know, and then I get opened up for a bigger problem. Exactly. It's scary, but the H spinning slash brings us back over to the mid screen. Nice little reset with the overhead. Dash heavy there. Back to that. Right? See if you can bait out something. Catches out the dragon call, though. There we go. What a challenge. And again, just back in this West Coast screen. Unfortunately, all rising spinning wheel. Definitely going to get uh, keep that turn. Close L in our Skybound guard. Alrighty, set point for Diaphone. Looking at that top six losers. Let's see if you can close it out here. Nello. Mm -hmm. What you got? Okay, air to air JL to stop that H spinning slash. I like the answer. No, light, far light actually able to get a little confirm here. Another 6XL. Damn. All right. I like the UDP challenge that plus frame reset on the projectile. Mm -hmm. Yo, got the medium. The That's a hit. big chunk of damage. You're actually going to yep. die for this one. Good games here. Dipo 3 0 victory on Zoe, which is. You know, contrary to popular belief, just because she might be on the bottom of the tier list does not necessarily mean Try that and bring that momentum versus. back, but all right, back onto the other side of Losers Top 8. We got Merp back on the Cagliostro against Broody on the Belial. Yeah, the Broody Belial coming through. Lucilius, James. Full intros wrong? Lucilius. <laughs> Does anyone know who Silius is? It's not Nicholas. What's up with this sassy little girl? I'm saying, Kagliosho got a vile intro, but you know, she's showing the personality immediately. Oh, we're actually seeing the Avatar Belial coming out from Broody as well, so definitely a, uh, a bit of a rarer pick. One of these characters that not only takes some health on some of the specials, also has yes. the lowest HP in the game, so it is a high risk high reward playstyle. You really want to force Merp to the corner early. Yeah, I think the last time I saw Avatar Belial outside of you know, here and now was, uh, you know, Ren was uh, running Avatar Belial at EVO. Yeah. Uh, which is a really cool sight to see because we didn't get to see this character a whole lot in the previous version. It is that big risk factor, right? Because the, the name of the game was like, hey, Belial's still very good by comparison. Like, the the rewards that I get for sacrificing my health isn't necessarily as good as what Belial could have to begin with anyways. Exactly. Ooh, that's that sweep. Set the seal into the cross-up. Checking out that guard button. Broody, do you have it bound? No, but you have UDP bound. Ooh. Raging strike opener. There's no far H. That is such an unfortunate button right there, especially in the corner. There's not a lot that Belial could really do um, yeah. outside of making a hard read and, you know, hey, I throw out maybe EXDP to get on the uh, the come down or even, um, you know, go for pinwheel. But that's going to yep. trade in that situation. Exactly. Okay, UDP, or normal DP rather, just uh, letting it rock, trying to interrupt this pressure. But he uses the Brave Counter Ooh. again, gets caught out of the wings with air DP. Yeah, I don't know, honestly, what Broody does in this situation here because Cagliostro is definitely built to really lock this down, especially at that beautiful range that we saw earlier with that far heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's definitely going to be tough here because Broody definitely needs to find a way to win the zoning game here against Cagliostro. 
Yeah, it's difficult, right? You have some longer range options by taking to the sky with the laser beams, but again, the air mobility from Cagliostro's uh, specials is just so difficult to try and nail down, but now you're stuck in the corner. Broody looking for a big hit here. No, oh, but gets caught up on the other yeah. side. And that's exactly why it's so difficult to go for the air beam. You know, outside of the fact that we're getting caught by Spear, Cagliostro just goes for a teleport right behind you, gets your punish. Ooh. The walk back after you set the seal. The double spot dodge for a far age punish. Merp puts a second game on the board. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Two O V right now. Then from the top rope, the JL into the pickup as well puts Broody into the corner. Nice blocks. Able to challenge here with the close H. age to finish things off and get a low hex down. Got it. Look at how much HP we've already torn through on Broody. Not even a corner combo, but again, the 14k HP, like you guys are saying in the chat, that small, helpful really makes every mistake count. Yeah. One touch, two H, finds the mark. And shocking, Broody sticking with this avatar for a while. Yeah, I mean, sticking to their guns does not want to pull out the six, says, no, 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 if I'm going to go out, it's going to be on my own terms. Set up the EX rocks. No. Goes for beam. Nice spot that Merp is just locked in right now. Not getting caught by any of these projectiles from Belial. Even spot dodging supers, just absolutely insane. Far heavy. Nice Ooh. deep jump in here. Going to get the punish on that full laser. Early drop, but still able to press. Yeah. With the dunk after the Raging Strike, Close Age closes it out in a quick 3-0 for Murph. Yeah, I don't... Alchemy. Super represented I... as far as, you know, the top level, but I'm excited to see it. So it's actually going to be the Zoe. Okay. So we're seeing Have a Nice Day versus Diaphone here. Oh. Zoe versus Bubs heading up to the stand. I okay, see, so I would I imagine the Bubs mid-range does not feel too yeah. bad in this matchup. Yeah, wow. Uh, I see it. It's actually Diaphone 3 0. -oh. Good call okay, up there okay. on the bracket. Yeah. I was okay, like, wait a okay. minute. <laughs> I'm just like, calling it like Zoe? I read it out there, folks. But yeah, you're right. It's Diaphone coming out here. Either way, Zoe up against the uh, uh, BL support. That it is. All right, 50 meter on both sides. So we're going to go for ultimate spin, reaching just about full screen. Diaphone not ready to get knocked up against the wall like that, but nah, UDP brings the momentum back. <laughs> Nice, got the second throw. Another six. I'll hold the plus frames out there, spinning out. Great job for coming out from having a nice day. Looking for the corner and runs up bubble. Okay. Battle two. Bold choice, looking for the checkmate. Got the stacker else. Nice roll here. Great patience for Dive Up. Ooh, waits out the Unisonic as well. That's plus fans for having a nice day. Stuck in the arrows. Gradually getting walked back to the corner and a counter hit for M. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. This at least going to strip one bravery point here. Maintain that lead. Forced out a uh, guard cancer, too. Ooh, with the double what raging strike, though. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Damn. Unisonic from the top rope on the laser beam sweep. Have a nice day. Takes the first game. Yeah, very dominant round, especially holding that corner. Being able to get ahead of the opponent when they're trying to make defensive decisions. Uh, very key, especially for Beelzebub, who might not get a whole lot of turns back. Those slower startup options they have. All right, there's your teleport. Does get interrupted. Last on Gru, EX arrows for some more corner carry. I agree. Another guard canceled. That's a very early spend from Have a Nice Day compared to the last game. Diaphone ahead in the resource game right now. Firm into the super, get a frame point back as well. Have a nice day. Still low Ooh. on the BP, but one raging strike would be enough. Teleport TP out. 
You could block this, but if you press... Oh, wow. Oh, very interesting. Teleport. Well, excuse me. Dive kick, rather. Yeah, smart choice to go for the air stall just on the off chance it clips you. No, but off oh, the gravity suck. Diaphone looking for the throw. Nice. Got pushed back from the medium dragon. Oh, what a read from Diaphone. The spot dodge to call out the DP. And he was ready for it. He practiced yeah. the spot dodge OS so many times against Nier. He's like, yeah, let me just let it rock against Beelzebub. You've been letting that bubble rock a little bit too much. Oh, got the gravity well confirmed. Yep. Spin to the check. That's a charged arrow. Not going to go for the unblockable instead. Just going to try and push you to the corner. Yeah, that EX Chaos Caliber. Dive there. Good jump out. And able to just zone out again. Ultimate skill nail set up. Alright, he exchanged, but you got the perfect spacing. Oh no, but still gets caught out by super jump lightning. Gotta watch the skies. Nice. Speaking of that anti-air. Oh, and that was supposed to be guard cancel, but with a small delay from Diaphone's pressure, opens up a raging strike. This should actually kill here. No, I lied, I lied. I'm such a liar, folks. Don't even worry about it. I oh, I know what it's like. I understand. It was one gem. On it was one gem and it oh, man. Ooh, zero gems, zero HP for have a nice day as Diaphone ties it up. Believe in How many victory. times? Ninja, you know, it, it's well, hard. You know, time. the super... Okay. Exactly, yeah. Zero is like one for... Or no, he's like nine for ten. That's a pretty good record. Me, a little worse on the ratio here. Diaphone looking a little worse for where as he gets caught in the corner. EX spin for the wall bounce. Protect. Oh. Man, jump back uh, dive kick is such an evil option. A lot of times right. you're gated to only being able to do that out of neutral jump or out of forward jump, but right. it's, it's a uh, airspace control option that's pretty unique for Beelzebub. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, the close heavy counter hit. Yeah, let's spend sky bomb. This one's killing me. Told you. <laughs> No channel points required. Even I knew that. That's how I that's how I know it's an obvious kill. Have a nice day. Puts another round on the board. Die? Try to get that 2U. Or excuse me, 2H. Yep. Alright. EX bubble tries to get you out with the arrows, but the air stall on uh, Super Jump Lightning is going right on over for Diaphone. Right, nice, unique skill, Dragon Send. Tries to go for the frame shot there. Diaphone does not bite. Ooh, let's get called up at that overhead, though. All right, nice far medium, but no confirm after. Just 6-6-M. Six, six, Interesting. Like, all these stray hits, no confirms from having a nice day. But look at the life lead anyways. It is adding up. Let's go. Confirm to the super. Oh, off of the light auto combo, though, I... Don't think it's going to do enough to kill, but it will put you in throw range. Mm -hmm. Safe. Oh my god. And I tell you, that was absolutely supposed to be guard cancel. Diaphone really yep. trying to bait those out with two L's. And unfortunately, got called out this time. Still able to spend to get out of it. But oh man. my god. Man, so we saw a lot of... Uh... We saw a lot of jump back into the dive kick, getting caught out by H spinning slash on Diaphone. So instead, Hava just taking the battle to Diaphone, going forward jump, but no, it puts you into the corner anyway. Nope. Nice guard cancel to get out of the situation. Yep. Sneaks in the back throw. Yep, EX spin. I mean, what are you supposed to do, right? It's minus, but you're so far out that it's safe. Exactly, exactly. That's what makes the L so difficult to try to punish. <laughs> Nice, good sky bound. No full animation, but a great back throw to teleport. One more touch. Ooh, well. Don't do it to him like that. 2L for the 2-1. Have a nice day. He's one game away from moving on to the next round of losers. Spot dodge still going to get scooped up for it. Oh, yeah. A little too early on the roll because have a nice day just looking for the full charge. Mm-hmm. 
great route there at the far medium. Holy smokes, the far heavy. Okay, so they get to the strike. Yeah. Send the Skybound art, and that oh does succeed with a perfect. I thought it was going to be close. I did not think it was going to yeah. kill, but have a nice day on set point. Got to jump out. Oh, Skybound Art. Trying to return the favor is Die Phone. That's the Gamma Beam. Straight through, Laser Sweep, you bubble. But still, this is a rough round for having a nice day. It's a big life lead, and I don't think Die Phone's going to let you get away with the throw loops like last round. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you have to spend the push back right now. No DP either side. Doesn't matter for Hava. They're already at 1 HP, basically. Looking for the anti-air super. Oh, we're not good. We're not good. I thought the neutral jump was a fair call. I mean, expecting DP. I thought maybe the super was going to whip at that angle. Like, it was so yep, close. The throw. Run up into the throw. Obviously, Diaphone is feeling like he needs to take to the skies and stall out. And that's when you pull out that set ender super. But right. next set, we're heading on right into it. We got Zippy versus Merp. Nier versus Cagliostro. Okay. It's a matchup I like for Cagliostro, honestly. I think yep. we're okay here, potentially. You know, given the circumstances. I'll give myself room to retreat in case this goes south. <laughs> we're OSing a little bit on the mic here, just on the off chance, but we're believing in Murph. No, I'm not believing in that golden throne, though. Zippy, ready for the punish. All right, teleport out. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a lot. We do have rocks set up here. We're not able to get any sort of uh, hexes out. You know, now that I think about it, too. Death is probably smoking a lot of the ground hexes, especially air hexes, so you have to make sure you get these knockdowns. We are a chip away from death, and it won't even need it, just a two age. Great patience there from Zippy. Battle two. Ready, in first round, Merp, what can we bring back here? Oh, super jump, maybe to try and go Ooh. over the death. Oh, I agree, it actually catches out Zippy on the dome. Yeah, with that jump light, that's great. Yeah, try to pressure through this. You got nothing. Nice raging strike follow up. But it's a big spend, and that's going to help Merp a little bit there. I can't believe you autograph. How? No, I disagree with that. Sometimes it just works, right? Yeah. Oh, no. It tries to go for the air throw, but I guess in the casting animation of the ultimate seal, just not able to catch out Merp. But you do catch them out with the death call. Pick up, goes for the side swap setup. Okay, there we go, 6-6-L. Six, six, First game for Zippy. Yeah, the problem here is if you set up any seals, you have to hope that death isn't gonna try to interrupt you. You go for this full screen setup here, so you can try to push the opponent into seal, which is generally how the play goes for Cagliostro anyways. But for the most part, Cagliostro doesn't necessarily have to worry about uh, death knocking at your door. Don't have to worry about death right now. Merp trying to put in these micro delays to wait out the DP, but no, just gonna throw on there through them and a third one, even through the UDP. Yo, there's nothing you can do. Help me. There's nothing you can do. And that whole backdash was just in case you decided to skybound that. That was gonna be your one opportunity to try to get out. But even then, you didn't have the resources for it. That was all Merp meter. Yep. Right. Then death out. You try and poke out with the 5L. I like the delay on the death call. No. So Zippy has a little bit more time to press the offensive. It doesn't kill. But man, one touch. Okay, got the seal set up. What a great opportunity there for Murph. Oh, too no. far away from the Raging Strike. And a beautiful 6-6-L here. That almost is very bad. Like, that was a huge comeback from Zippy. Yep. That would have been a heartbreaker for Merp. A little, too little, too late on the far L raging strike conversion. And now Merp running away with the momentum says, you know, I'll take it. Strike follow up. It's for air setup. Yep. Mm. This challenge actually 
very beneficial there because Zippy could potentially do another cross under if we wanted. Trying to go for a back throw, an immediate down B or ultimate skill from Merp. There we go. The shoulder tackle brings you all the way to the other side. Merp on chip damage. Whoa. Yeah, good air to air from Zippy. Battle three. Tied up here in game number two. Let's see if Zippy can run away with the momentum or if Merp ties it up just walking up with these far L's. Side squad 6-6-M. Brings it back down with the Raging Strike follow-up. Trying to get air throw, but was able to get jabbed out. On through, Raging Strike conversion. Zippy, can you kill with another BP? You can to put two games on the board here in losers' quarters. Especially, like, that was crazy because uh, we had no death on deck. Like, that would, you had to finish that. Otherwise, like, we couldn't really set up with Cagliostro. We're going for Andre. Obi Wan Kenobi coming up on the screen. But you and McGregor. The Pringles, man, every time I see that silhouette, that splash art, I just think of five people in the chat going, oh, it's the Pringles guy, and I lose my composure. But no, nah, this Rakshasa <laughs> is sharp. It's trying to keep you at bay. Merp, is it going to be enough, though? I don't know. Death still has a really good full screen presence. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no. Be so careful, Merp. 1-2-H if you do the wrong super, which, uh -huh. granted, Andre players don't really utilize that super to begin with. It's That's always true. for the, the other one, but... Uh, yeah. If you get that set up, you better watch yourself. I was trying to crash the game. I don't know. Maybe that's the only way you can escape death, but no. Stuck in the corner here. Again, it's so scary. Unless death is already knocked off of the screen to try right. and look for these full screen rock shots. Oh, but ultimate skill. Tries to follow through. The patience. Hold your ground. Hold your space. Barely any help to your name. Yeah, you can't thrust at this position, especially ultimate skill. We'll send death running as it slows things down. Match point here for Zippy. Yeah, maybe taking some lessons from Elsa, right? Using that 2 6 u to try and hold down that space, especially against the character that feels like it can be really hard to approach yourself. Okay, nice. Shut down death. A quick little jab. But this far, like this full screen game, if you're going for a zoning character, like Uno definitely has some opportunity, right? I mean, look at the threat. The beak driver is great, but we see it shut down immediately with Death Forward advancing. And I think, like, if you're going to go for zoning play, potentially go uh, Matera on that one. I mean, the true zoner of the game, right? Yeah. But I don't think Matera is necessarily a great pick against Nier either. Got Getting throw. a little bit of space with the throw. There we go. Brave counter to try and bring it back, but mashing out with the far L. All right, there we go. I got scared for a second. I'm not going to lie. Me too. I was like, oh, please do not put spears on the screen right now. No, we're what sending you, you to doing? space. <laughs> The kill. And it kills with a 0 BP, 150 damage, 63 hits, but still set point for Zippy. And JU, again, doesn't get checked, but does get 5 held on the way down. Got some of that chip pressure. Full screen situation. And again, just ready to jab out on Death, but that was too risky to jab right there. Death was already on the opposite side. Trying to go for ultimate skill parry. I mean, that would have been interesting to see how it works against Death, but Zippy was in the safe position. Send the super out. Six stocks, not enough to kill, but Merp looking worse for wear off of the frame trap Death call. That's going to be Merp out here. And Zippy moving on to loser's semis. Nice day. But we have our winner's finals here. Shuabu up against Elsa, and Elsa representing Nier, of course, and Shuabu yep. going over to Uno. Show you how Andre can play things here. Okay, maybe inspired by the previous set, says, all right, you know what, maybe Rakshasa is the way after all, and maybe Murph with a big rate of 101 wants to watch along as well. Thank you so much for the support. Absolutely.
Shubu, definitely one of those players out there that has uh, multiple character representation. Um, yeah. Uh, Uno, uh, it looked we kind of picked up later on. There was, I'm trying to remember, I had a conversation with, uh, with Shubu about like the Uno decision and what we were kind of yeah. covering here. I don't remember offhand what it, um, the specific reasons why, but here certainly changed up a bit because of Nier and not going to get that opportunity on the first round. Yeah, bro is stuck in the corner with the Uno HP. It's a rough situation as soon as you get back into it. I saw the six frame light uh, over there in the chat as well. So that reduces some of your opportunities to try and look for a match on some of these smaller gaps. And Elsa, not going to try and let you get any opportunity to escape. Yeah, completely locked down. All right, so we do have our guard cancel. Try to get another one, but got interrupted. It was a raging strike instead. Spin. Spear. Nice. Called out the Raging Strike there. Lots of work for Shubu, though. Full Peak Driver. Nice spot dodge. Couple ultimate skills that spent all of the meter for Shubu. Yeah, no resources to your name, and the BP's not going to do anything when you're stuck in the combo. Elsa takes a first quick game. Yeah, I really think we were trying to get that ultimate skill uh, Beak Driver hit just so we could close the gap. That's the opener that we're fishing for, but Elsa was just so quick to react with the spot dodge in those interactions. Okay, we still punish through death here. All right, late throw tech, Elsa back against the wall. Just go for another throw. Shubu trying to get as much space as you can and the EX thrust just goes right on through death. Ooh, nice interrupt. Try to go for another guard cancel right there, but 2L. Able to stop the startup of uh, Raging Strike. Damn. Okay, with the super to seal out the round. Battle mm -hmm. two. Engage. Perfect spot here. Death comes from downtown. I didn't even realize Death was still lingering back there. Holy cow. Through, yep, represent the DP to try and get that screen space back. Okay, 6-6-L into the hard wait to bait out the ultimate parry. Nice. Charging that beat driver here from Andre. We got a lot of the startup opportunity from Nier, and we're not going to press that 25% here for the follow-up. We know the situation. We know the name of the game because guaranteed Elsa was going to press back on that Raging Strike. We want to save up that meter, but still, Shubu pressing the offensive, able to close out a game. It's one all right now. Yeah, that spot dodge got caught out in the counter hit recovery, closes out the game with the auto combo, and now we're seeing a sec, taking a breather as we head into game number three. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Back up immediately for your ultimate range. You can throw out the spear, throw out the rock chasses, and have all the time in the world to react to JU. That has to hold this uh, EX pressure from death and still able to maintain that corner position. Ooh. All right, drop that right in your face. Keep it going with the spin. Ooh! Okay. Nice parry. What a call out to see the gap right there. Oh no. How did he not remain active in that? That spin should have actually been hitting Elsa, but the Raging Strike still able to follow through. And a massive follow up here. Elsa going to full send. Yeah, not quite able to kill though. One chip yeah, away. Please. Nice parry. Ooh. Yeah. 5L says unhand me. Tries to bring the round back at the 150 damage multiplier, but it's not enough. Elsa puts a round on the board. And the full screen swipe, not even giving you a chance to set up Rakshasa. Now we just dash on through. Very quick eject on the spear toss. Yep. Just able to block the jump in from uh, Shubu, but now getting opened up again by death, corner position. Spot dodge, expecting a parry attempt possibly. Nice, that's what goes through, ultimate skill version. And he set up the spin, try and get some space behind it. Yes, I like the 2L to poke out death post JU. Oh, dash cancel into low opener. 
very sneaky stuff from Shuabu. Hit yeah, combo limit, but starts things off. Very cheeky raging strike here. Mm -hmm. And the RS full screen still able to follow up. Shuabu closing out a round. God, and so many times we see them use the Brave Counter to avoid lethal and then just pressing the offense afterwards with the lower BP. But no, Shuobu just going for it again says, all right, if you didn't react the first time, I'll trust the second time you're not ready. Yeah, I mean, look, that was a really great setup at the corner because we purposely hit that combo limit to go for a meaty raging strike. But that was a great call. Yeah. Yeah, thrust. Go walk up, late tech. Up tech, nice. All right, really even things out with that uh, Skybound art and Shuabu down two bravery points. Harry yeah. holds out, but unfortunately mistimed it. Death still finding a way. 2 1 lead right now for Elsa. And the delay on the death call is just making your way right past the parry active frames. Death putting in work at the full screen, right? Even though Andre, that's what you're expecting from him. Nah, bro. She's she's working from home. Death is the one on site. <laughs> that is 100% true. She's just working from home, full set. Right. Hey, 2 H get out of that corner. All right, nice. Able to zoom on in. Spinning spear does get a uh, corner combo. Oh, tried to go for the throw bay, but instead Elsa holding on strong, looks for the brave counter. Ooh. Spend the stocks, do we cash out on super? Oh, we actually didn't build it up in time. Yeah, that still gets caught up by 5L. Super is on the menu for Elsa to be on set point. Every single time, it's Shubu owning this west side of the screen and just Elsa fighting with their ropes against the back and still uh, ropes to their back and still able to you know, clutch out the victory. Absolutely. All right. Let's see. Yeah, escaping the corner says, no, 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 I got to press the offensive. I know you think I'm scared, and I know you have tools to fight me at the full screen, so I might as well pull up for the mid-range. Yeah, sent out that spinning spear. And side swap with the 6-6-M. All falling on the EX version here. Nice throw on the parry. Ooh. All right, back over there. Puts you in a rough spot. About to build a hundred meter. Yeah, you have a lot of health, but it could still be lethal for Elsa. I can't believe it. All right. One more to the SSP. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not holding the guard buttons with the skybound art. Are you kidding me? It's Shuobu's turn, and suddenly Elsa said, you know what, what if I skybound art? It is a wrap! Nah, bro, I'm always on the Xbox. The 6-6-M catches you out. You Zippy jump and up. have a nice day. Versus yep, we're coming up six. at the end of our matches here, the final stretch. So again, a quick reminder as we head into loser semis that we still have that match arena available. If you guys are feeling so generous, you're welcome to stop on by with the direct contributions. But we're heading right into it. Zippy versus have a nice day. And already, we got a couple more nears to get through. Elsa sitting up in grand finals. Zippy, one of the few remaining. Just have a nice day, have an answer. And I think, again, like I said earlier, Six has a lot of great answers against uh, Nier, especially when you're trying to go for an offensive um, rush down play against Nier. Like, she yeah. doesn't have a whole lot of opportunity to really get activated, especially when you have Perry to think about from Six. Nice uh -huh. spot dodge, though. Ooh. Alrighty, close out the first round strong. If he sees blood in the water and blood in his eyes, he is trying to get that run back against Elsa. And the back throw is going to get you one step closer to it. Set up, of course. Nice guard cancel. Removes death off the screen so you can kind of press this offensive. Another back throw. Stack lights, and that's an interrupt. Oh no. I wonder if that was supposed to be dash up throw because now you're paying the price for it. Dead. Ooh. The super tried to run that stagger pressure and it was working out a couple times for have a nice day. But still, Zippy able to adapt in time and says, no, no, no. If you're going to get that greedy with it, I'm just going to let it rock and kill with a super. Ooh. That wasn't a 
Yeah, actually, that was a tough uh, guard cancel right there. Sure, it took out death. He wanted to wait a little bit more so that Zippy was in range, and uh, you would have caught that. Trying to be out of range out of any parry shenanigans, but still Brave Counter gets caught out on death, but Zippy is right behind. Yeah, that's back to back where Zippy is just outside the range of Brave Counter, forcing, or rather, having have a nice day, spending both those bravery points and those getting unrewarded. Yep. Skies, Brave Counter, another Riot Stamp to try and keep the turn up. Just trading specials back and forth to buy for this mid screen. Damn! Will it die? Okay. Don't forget Death is Linger there. Beautiful parry. Yep, gotta remember you can use it. If Nier is in range, that parry, even if it goes through Death, it's still gonna be able to hit the Summoner Ooh. right behind. Tries to go for the JU cheeky stuff. All right, so no bravery points here for Zippy. Spot dodge on the ultimate skill, Fireball. Full punish here. Zippy gonna build up another, it doesn't even need it. Gets a kill. Oh. Believe in victory. The pillar Battle of death. One. The less the stocks, the more the damage. Zippy up 2-0. Looking for a quick run to the losers finals. But still, have a nice day. Slashes on through with the Rekka's to bring you over to the corner and a beautiful shimmy counter hit H. 50% likely. Good spot to be in right now for have a nice day. Oh no. Was two plus trying to sneak in a throw. That is not the tick throw you're looking for. Damn, but and it Itachi is the $50 we're looking for. Itachi the GOAT with the contribution. Thank you so much. And oh my god, having as they contributing all the BP they can to try and spend here for the super kill. That's the motivation, having as they needed right there. That extra $50. Yep. We are $107 away from the top three payout. Yep. Or top four payout, excuse me. Way slowly but surely, and that $50 makes a big difference. And this back throw is a big shift in momentum for Zippy, right? Didn't lose a ton of health being backed into the corner. Oh no, but a baited DP brings it right back for Hava. Yeah, because we got the parry on death, was able to immediately confirm with the raging strike after, but we are one BP away from losing them all. I mean, that's a big opportunity for Zippy to catch up. Try to shut down death on startup, but unfortunately got caught anti air. Volleyball combos once again. Locked down with 100 meter. It's more than enough to kill. Didn't even need it. We got the raging strike to put Zippy on set point. Battle three. Engage. Match point here for Zippy. Trying to back Zippy into the corner with the 6 6 L, but again, getting caught up by death is so scary, whether it's on your approach or getting frame chopped on a 5 L. This is such a good situation oh. for Zippy, but nope, it's not the brave counter. Yeah, I've got that close counter hit. The heavy. Stacker pressure still working here. Has that likely again, but it gets eradicated so quickly with one mistake from Have a Nice Day. So hopefully this offense stays airtight because this is a start for Zippy. Ran straight through death there. Zippy tried to go for the slash, but no, a little bit too far. Have a Nice Day had already sprinted right past. Yeah. The quadruple jump is the jump back dive kick. Have a nice day. Trying to look for Zippy, looking for that 6-6-L, but he's not going to bite. He's holding on strong. Stocks for a special cancel. Uh, that'll do here. One more bravery point to spend. You have 50% and just enough with the triple attack. 3-0 victory here for Zippy, and that's, uh, that's out the window. Oh man, let's see it. The Andre coming back out. We got some Pringles on the screen against Zippy's near again, trying to make his way through the loser side for that run back against Elsa. Again, like you're saying, right, for Shuubu, this is a difficult uphill battle. Even if he wins this, he's up against two of the premier nears in North America. So let's see what the Uno can make here going into game number one. Yeah, I really like that uh, Shuubu was able to get that interrupt on the jump view from Zippy and took that opportunity to close the gap and uh, win the corner, but unfortunately we get tossed back. Shuubu has to fight out. Hey, no. Slash on through, but that's a big whiff. Gets caught out yeah. by the death ball. To be cornered here. All right, that's a meter available as well. That was so tough because it was supposed to be a shutdown of death. And unfortunately, death was not active long enough for that.
That might be yep. something we take away for like a later update to like, show a little bit more of when death is actually active as opposed to not active. Like I think Blaze Blue's solution was when the puppet was active, they were lit up better, but then when they're not, they were shadowy in the background. Exactly. Yeah, but this time it's a little bit harder. You can only hit death out of recovery or active frames. If she's right. just in the foreground, you yeah. know, there's no visual indicator other than her actually moving, but trying to move on out of this corner with a U. Perry gets the throw bait as well on Zippy. That's a lot of damage. Woo! Good. All right. Yeah. A couple. Nice. Spinning spear, able to get the throw to finish. Shuabu, not out of this yet. Yeah, that was a scary situation. Throwing out the spear against the 236U from Zippy, able to make your way past death and cinch it out in that last scramble. But now oh, mashing on through with the 5L, Zippy gets a good starter. Yeah, let's have a block. Nice raging strike. And Zaliris with the $200 contribution to the match burrito, putting us very well over the $300 tier, which is a top four payout. So thank you so very much. Greatly appreciate it. Dude, that $200 contribution had me checking if my eyes were delirious from Zelirius. That is a huge amount of money into the prize pool, so I am very happy for the generosity, and we really appreciate the support. Zippy, it's a strong game one. We're seeing some good answers from Shubu on some of these interactions, but it's it's linking it into sealing out the round into a strong Oki situation that Zippy has to guess wrong on. That's really the trouble. Nice. Got the immediate overhead there from Shuabu. Strong lead. Owns the corner. And unfortunately, the side swap here again. Zippy finding that one opening. Oh no! Too deep a jump in, and that's the opportunity that Shuabu needs to hold that. We'll actually follow up with the Raging Strike. Oh no, we dropped out a little bit too early there, but we just need one special. Great patience from Shuabu to call out the EXDP. The spear, the shield, the guard point goes right on through, seals the round out for Shuabu. It was scary after that, uh, you know, drop combo in the corner, but still able to keep alive in the clutch. Good throw. Yeah, good throw. That's facing trap. How are you supposed to try and challenge here? Yeah, keep chipping away. Just about to get that 50% meter right there for Zippy. Gets ultimate skill opportunity. There we go. Oh, no, just regular EX. Yeah. Shubu tries to go for two, but gets caught up by death. Still holding down this corner situation, but now gets caught up by the death call. Ooh. Good punish on the raging strike, but apparently just not able to confirm. Pulls up for the thrust. Look at how much shift damage that each thrust is doing, though. Exactly. Zippy really nice needs jab. the spot dodge to be able to avoid the chip damage scenario, but it's scary. You lose a little tempo off of it as well. Lost the death off of JU. Patience for Shubu, but the EX, immediate spend to Skybound Art. Very close. One touch is all that Zippy needs. Same can be said for Shubu. But Shubu's been working at the long, long term game with chip damage. Oh, what attack. Yeah, so Zippy used the SSBA earlier to get some Woo! more brave points, but no, oh, getting caught out at the end of the spot dodge by the spinning spear. Oh my god. Believe in victory. Battle one. You had the right answer with the spot dodge too to avoid the chip damage, but yeah. it's just the delay in timing. Shuabu knew you would go for it again, so just toying with that cadence. Yeah, the spiral spear really coming out in the clutch right there. Yep. All right, game three. Let's see who can break the tie here. Zippy off to a strong start, keeping Shuabu locked down in the corner, and even the spend of the 50 isn't going to be enough to get you out. Oh, I guess it is. All right, never mind. My fault. <laughs> I mean, you know what? It might have been, you know, that parry opportunity, right? There's that fear yeah. that, you know, so much of nearest possibility. Chipped away here, but spending a brave counter right back at you, the Zippy. Nice. Got that parry. Able to follow through. Ooh. Ultimate skill for ultimate skill. And the spinning spear blasts right through death. Two cards left for Zippy. Oh, no. The cards are looking in Zippy's favor. Face up while Shubu is face down. One round down here. Again, you still have a couple more games at least, but you want to be able to take the lead here, get the mental advantage. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Yeah, just oh, waiting right outside. I'm not messing yep. with that. Yeah, Shubu is fine staying at the full screen spacing because of the options you have as Andre. And Zippy throwing out the JU loses a little bit of time on death, you know, because of that JU not quite reaching. But Judai helping us reach that big round number in the prize pool with the $7 donation brings us to 400. Thank you so much. There's another 2L from Shubu. I mean, Shubu's yep. putting in work to really shut down a lot of this work that Death is doing. Apop being summoned so close to them, but it's the next step is then closing the gap to open up Zippy. We keep getting pushed out every single time. Yeah. That's got to be the most infuriating thing about this matchup. It's just every time you get close, you get pushed right back out by Death. Oh man, just opting to use more of the Rock Shasta in this game that we haven't really seen in the past couple too. Says, all right, let me zone you out, see if you get a little frustrated on the approach, and then use some stocks. Uh, and you know, I can catch out Death on the way over. All right, Shubu mounting the offense. Jeez, also. You spinning spear really coming up huge for Shubu to be able to take yeah. up that space and walk up right behind it every time. Yeah, I think that's going to be such an important tool throughout this set and clearly has paid off so well for Shubu because of the fact that it does delete death off the screen for him. Oh no, mm. set up the parry and Zippy was not biting. Hard bait on the parry and the parry super cashes out for the kill here. Zippy, you got set point after the super. Could be your last stand in losers finals here, Shubu. What are you gonna do? I mean, it's gosh. That mental endurance that Shubu is going through right now, it's a tough match. Because we see consistently Shubu is shutting down death. It's then again, you gotta open up Tippy. And they're so good on defense right now, especially every single time they're pushing back death uh, with death. So hold that corner. Nice interrupt. Caught overextending. Yep, the setup into 236U. I like the early JU to bait out a Brave counter. We're getting so much damage off the setup. Got the intro, but it's not a lot of damage, but this 236U is, and it's oh enough God. damage to put Zippy in loser's side of Grand Finals for the run back. Just one set is not enough for both of these players, right? You know. Elsa has to be able to close it out for the tournament, and Zippy, coming in from the loser side, has to reset the bracket and then win again. So we got some amazing near, near action for our grand finals here. Final set of the evening. Yes, and of course that match arena will still be running. We are 200 away from the top six payout. Uh, so definitely get up to that $600 tier. We get everyone paid out through top six. Yep. Right, waiting it out here. You gotta be a little bit careful going for the preemptive 2L, 5L to catch the startup here, but Elsa just waiting it out so smart. Yeah. Alright, three summons uh, death with the ultimate skill, bring it back over. A7 already calling it out that it will be the near destroyer in a couple weeks. <laughs> let's see it, let's this see it. Grimnir? Grimnir though? Definitely a character with uh, some targets on her back, but right, trying to see the revenge here mm -hmm. over in Grand Finals. Slash on through with the 5H, but there's no death available for Zippy, so not trying to cash out and waste that BP if you know it's not going to kill yet. Right, there we go. Raging Strike seals the deal. Zippy taking that first game. Mm -hmm. Or first round, excuse me. First round. Not a game yet. First round over to the Eel Hat. Let's see. Elsa waiting for the down back, assuming the instant death call, but no, gets caught out of the forward walk. Nice jab. <laughs> I love how these two are just returning the favor and jabbing out each other's deaths. Yep. But spends the EX there so that death can kind of linger a little bit longer. This time around, catches the recovery. Go volleyball combos. No, actually, just opting for the corner carry route into the U skill. That is smart. Okay, I like that, Elsa. 
All right, so got some BP on you for the Raging Strike, but no, just gonna opt for one more interaction. Bait out the DP for 2U. Battle three, round of peace. This is the back and forth we're gonna see here. Wait a minute. All right, jab for jab, late tech. At least to get some space here. Can summon death in the background? Yeah, forgot death is still there in the full screen setup. Yo, I'm getting flashbacks. This is Kenshi and Sento. Are you kidding me? You gotta watch out for the clone. It's scary, even if it's right behind you, even if it's stationary for the past five seconds, any special call is gonna be a huge counter hit. We're pretty even on the stocks as well, so if he wants to keep the pressure on. to the super it doesn't quite kill oh, but you're in throw range and you're in cross-up range zippy not holding the guard button in time wait a minute no 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 the super setup the side swap that's what i'd say then dog. you do the 66m yo <laughs> you're already you know we're not used to that super not killing right so i feel like especially in the heat of the moment you can forget that it side swaps even as a near player yourself and then a side swap on the side swap the full 360 is like right. help me all i'm thinking about is just like you still had the room to get the side swap 66m like that yeah that was immaculate spacing here from uh, elsa evil evil puts the game on the board here the flower crown is huge the death threat just <laughs> literal <laughs> death threat sitting yep. full screen go ahead make a move I dare you. Try and mash. Ooh. Big throw bait, but not going to get punished in time by Zippy. Still has the corner lockdown, though, but no death on your side. Super skybound art. Jesus. Nice. What? No way, dude. I, I thought you would have the one oh. HP. I thought the eel would persevere. That's two cards. That's two cards. Oh, my God. As much damage as you can expect. That was terrifying. Even with 120, I did not believe, but Elsa knows. Why? Two cards. <laughs> Still a couple stocks, and oh my god, the vacuum brings you right into Elsa's loving arms for the Raging Strike conversion as well. All right, a couple spot dodges here. Expecting the uh, uh, guard cancel to come through. Came in right after the recovery of one. Yep. Man, you did two spot dodges and he BCs on the third. That feels so yeah. rough. And the first spot dodge that Zippy does hard baits the BC. Elsa, you are not going to live this one. Tied up on the round count here. That first round, definitely uh. hugely in Elsa's favor, but Zippy's still able to bring it back. Yeah, absolutely. All right, nice interrupt on death. And that's something important to kind of pay attention to. Not watching death reaction, watch uh, near herself, because that will tell you when death activates. She is one of those types of characters, right? You know, puppet characters kind of utilize that, the animation. Yes, it's important to see what death is doing, but the yeah. smart design choice for near here is that the card shows you what death is actually going to do. So you're exactly. watching for that interaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just so much on the screen. Even if you know where to look, sometimes in the heat of the moment, it can be hard to try and react. So you're just waiting it out, trying to find a gap to, you know, interrupt death. Oh, but that's the DP you're looking for. There we go. Oops. Not gonna get caught on the cross under. We got the guard button. All good. Slow here, waiting for death to come back up, yeah. and Elsa did not want to challenge. Right, nice super jump, guard cancel, no BP available. Zippy can send it because look at the life deficit we're at, anyways. It wouldn't Ooh. have mattered even if we had all three bravery points, the next touch would have killed. That is kudos. Damn, Elsa up 2 0 right now. This really is looking like the inverse of that previous WASD. So, Elsa, mm -hmm. can you get the reverse? The reverse? Not philosophy. Prophecy, or Zippy, gonna try and change the story and once again bring it back for the reset. 66L, death on the screen for both players. Alright, late tech though. Oh no, don't press a button when you late tech, wait a minute! <laughs> you're minus, you're like minus six, I'm not gonna lie to you, it is not your turn. Sometimes you gotta be bold with it, but the boldness getting fully punished over here into a 2-3-6-U setup. 
Yeah, this ain't a pot of coffee that's being brewed right now. It's a pot of hurt. Lots of damage, minimal caffeine, but you gotta be woke in the clutch right now. Elsa losing a lot of health. Go for the EX, keep things locked down. I mean, it's still very much possible for Elsa to make this comeback. You got three stocks, and Zippy has no bravery points. Yep, it's all the skill you slow down. <laughs> Awesome. That was tricky, oh, right? Yes, you can guard button it, but often the neutral jump, you can land on either side. We're finally seeing the install from Zippy just going for the chip damage checkmate. It's like the first time we've seen it on stream all day throughout all these nears. And I mean, I get it, right? Because there's yeah. so many good U skills, so much damage on the supers that it's hard to try and value install above it. But when you have the checkmate a bit, whoa. all right, able to challenge the clash there with the stand L. Yeah, the, the install, just something we don't see almost ever from a near player. Nice, already got a significant combo, of course, with the medium setup. Through, triple attack, gets a soft knockdown here. Zippy, the back foot. Oh, we just run up like that, no fear of death. I understand. I mean, with death's your friend, then what do you got to fear? The X flurry here does get the round. Set point, tournament point here for Elsa. Battle three, engage. See it, five along through. Takes out death for just a little bit, even on the stocks. Got locked into the corner again. Try to jab out death and he's gonna get punished for it. Summon a death of your own, and it got interrupted. There's a jab out. Nice to you. Able to summon. Yep. You're just so far. You're not ready for that sweep, especially when Zippy, like you said before, right? So comfortable with going for the walk back while waiting for death. Let's see if you forget it and use his ultimate skill. I think that's very far from Elsa. We've seen it every single time throughout sets from Elsa, where they will send death to the opposite side of the opponent and use ultimate skill to pull them towards you. All right, 226U, keeping the pressure on, gradually trying to work your way through that health bar and put you with the chip range, but no, it's throw range instead. Zippy puts a game on the board. Hey. Wind it up. At least you got one on the board here. Like, I mean, so previous set, it was 3-1, right? So this is yep. potentially momentum start for Zippy, or we finish it out here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is that going to shake up Elsa, or is she still big, chillin', able to close it out? I don't know. Pulling up with a 6-6-L, the bravery. No fear of the DP, no fear of the death call, says I'm good. You got a DP of your own to stop that reverse mm -hmm. momentum, said Zippy. Uh, you got one game, but I'm not even going to let you get one more round. Just call I it the JU. Like, look at how much damage we already got set up here for a full screen setup. Jump back. Yeah, try to get you committed to dashing through. All right, good coast to coast carry. Yeah, no, what's the use go there? Ooh. Much more convincing round here. Yeah. Again, could be set point, could be tournament point here. Wow, the JU actually a little bit too far behind Zippy, so didn't get a chance to knock Death off of the screen just yet with the 2H. Mm -hmm. Up. Elsa has so much screen space right now. You're a back throw away from it being reversed, but there we go. 2 2 6 oh. the slash on through. Yeah, try to go for the guard cancel, Ooh. but we were already in the skies. It wasn't going to reach. Nice. Zippy bringing it back. Beautiful side swap. Wow. All right, so guard cancel does shut down death at the very least. It was able to recover in time to block out the rest of the pressure from Zippy. But just like that, death recovered. And get that corner locked down. Pulls it in for another challenge. Damn! All the stocks in the world, and now you have to use the Raging Strike. It'll do more than enough to kill. There we go. Zippy was a little afraid of the Brave Counter at first, but realized, okay, if I can spend my stocks and get the opening, even if death is down, I still have the Brave Points to bring it back. Mm -hmm. That damage boost is so critical for uh, Nier in that situation. Up, 6XL. Got the throw, keep it locked down with ultimate skill. 
But that barrage just really working through and still spending plenty of stocks. About even on either side. Sends EX to keep things locked down on Zippy so we can hold the corner. But death goes down for both sides. Shoulder tackle gets you a little bit of corner carry here, even on the health lead, and pretty even on the meter as well. Dead even on stocks. This is so scary. First yeah. hit, next hit, momentum. Ooh. All right, nice 2H. Yo, but the jump U comes through here for Zippy this time. Oh, the slash on through didn't go for a special cancel D from downtown, the 6XL. Elsa. You gotta be able to seal it out here. Is it enough with the S S B A? I don't know. Hundred percent multiplier. With the music hits, it's not gonna kill. But the chip but does win. succeed. And wow. that is Elsa taking a three-one. No reset available. Swapping up the story from W A S D and keeping Zippy in number two. But still. Again, number two out of 220, amazing placement, and Elsa seals the deal as your champion of TNS on this fine Saturday night.